right, hello everybody. This is MechaWatt. I am back in my Project Zomboid playthrough with the adventures of Casey Shade, our intrepid engineer who is starting off weak and feeble. But if we can somehow survive into the mid-late game um, era with him, he is going to have some unique engineer capabilities and um, tools and weapons that he is going to be able to use that I am hoping later in the game we're going to be able to really have a lot of fun with such as bombs and pipe bombs and aerosol bombs and Molotov cocktails I'm thinking downtown Louisville with a bunch with a satchel full of bombs and just going to town having a good time maybe maybe doing something at the penitentiary some of the really in-game locations that we can kinda have a lot of fun with once we once we finally get to his in-game abilities but it's going to take a lot of grinding to get there but you know that's the fun with this game uh we're just going to take our time and i am as i've said in uh, episode one we are doing more of a conventional survival playthrough here with casey uh i'm just kind of doing a low-key playthrough not a whole lot of that hardcore stress i am keeping up with his progress so if I do make a mistake or do something stupid and get him killed, we'll have some we'll have some backup points that we can reload if we need to and continue our progress with him. And uh, that just kind of suits my gameplay. The what I'm trying to accomplish is getting to the mid and end game. So I need to be able to continue to progress with him. So we're going to pick back up where we were. We'll, we'll pull up the map here in a little bit and show kind of where we started off uh, in the first episode and where we are now. We've kind of, uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute now. We're going to resume here. Now, I've noticed one thing with this game. A lot of times when I come in and I reload, alarm alarms go off, and I'm... I'm thinking that's what's what's happening right now. So let's resume. Yes, <laughs> and there's the alarm. <laughs> that's been that's been happening a lot. That's like the third or fourth time that I've I've come back into my solo game and an alarm is going off when I reload in. So now I'm going to have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep hustling here. Um Yeah, they're coming. They're coming at that alarm is there's that there's our car that we managed to tool around with I don't want to lose track of where that is but uh okay I gotta lose all these guys and try and work my way back to the car oh there's uh there's Samantha over there she's she's just plugging away on somebody good job Samantha good job she may have been the one that set off in it no every time I every time I reload a game the alarm is going off. I've got to figure out what's causing that. I've never had that happen before. I don't know why that's happening. All right, let me... Oh, man. They're just everywhere. This neighborhood is... Oh, hello. Are you the only... No, oh, there's still too many of them. This neighborhood is just going crazy. Let me see if I can break line of sight, maybe duck around behind the house and circle back around to the car. They're, they were all heading toward that alarm back up that way. Now what I've been doing here, we finally got back into Riverside. Once I get a chance to kind of duck and cover, I'll uh, recap kind of how we, how we are, where we are, where we come from while we're here. Anybody that did not see the first episode. I'm trying to up my axe skills here. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Oh, they're they're coming. A lot of these guys are the um, are the horde that I led off into the wilderness that have slowly kind of begun filtering on back there's the car let's get in the car and get out of here for now let's just get out of here they're they're filtering bond back in 
Uh, this neighborhood is not going to work for me anyway. I have not been able to find a two-story house. So this is not what I'm looking for. I really would like to get that. Yeah, this is not going to work for me. Um, let's find a quiet place I can park and kind of recap what's going on. Trying to just, I want to be able to pull the map up and show everybody what's happening. Here, let me just try to get on out here and away from everybody. Uh, where I can talk. Um, tell you what, I do need to eat something real quick. Do I have, yeah, I've got those chocolate chips. Go ahead and eat all of those. Is anybody around me? They don't seem to be around me. Okay. Let's let me pull up the map here. Now, we started first episode. We I was supposed to spawn in here in Riverside, but the game spawned me in way out here in the uh, trailer park. So we started in the trailer park. We hoofed it. I didn't want to spend too much time here. There's not really a place for me to set up a safe house. We did get into this factory warehouse here, but we're just unable... Hello. Yeah, there it goes. They're just not going to let me... Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and kill these guys here. I'll tell you what. Let's turn the car off in case I get driven away from it. I'll try and recap here in a minute if I can. I'm just kind of in a bind right now. Are you getting... I thought I was standing on top of you. Oh, he's got... Well, I got to get these axe skills up. Go down. Please go down. Okay. All right. Anybody else around here? Let's go in sneak mode and get back in the car. Okay. It takes a long time. Okay, so as I was saying, I did spend some time around this factory. I was able to get inside of it, but there's just no food there, I, and there's no books. I, I really didn't want, couldn't afford to spend any more time there because we needed to get, we needed to get on into Riverside where we could get a lot of food. We could set up a little safe house. We did spend a little time here um, on as we were hoofing it into uh, Riverside. We found a booze bar and we found some cars with batteries. And then we've kind of began driving around Riverside. We are look, we're currently looking for a good two-story house near the school, but I don't think I'm going to find a two-story house near the school. All of these houses are single story. I think I may go over here and check these houses out. They look relatively big. So let's go see if we can check them out, see if they're two-story. So we need to zoom out on the map, the mini-map here, so I can see a little bit more of the mini-map. Yeah, we need to we need to go back around here. We'll try the other side of the school. I want to get into the school because it's got a um, a lot of level up opportunities in there. First of all, it's got a wonderful library with just about every book we would ever need to level up with. Also, it's got a cafeteria full of these big massive wooden tables that if I disassemble those guys, about three or four of those tables disassembled is a is a carpentry level. So I want to spend some time in there on fast forward, disassembling a lot of those cafeteria tables, reading a, some carpentry books, and, and uh, increasing my carpentry skill because I'm going to need the carpentry for sure. I want to up my carpentry levels I need to up my electrician levels, but right now the carpentry is the easiest thing to level up, so we need to get a safe house and we need to get into that school. Are these houses two-story? No. No. 
Maybe. 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 No, that's not two story. This one back here may be, though. This one. Are you a two story house? I'm, I'm wondering. I think it might be. I want to look at it and make sure that would be a perfect location. That would be a perfect location if I could if I could get into it. If not, we're going to have to move toward the river where the posh houses are. I know that there are some, some two-story houses by the river. They're a little further away from the school than I would want to be. But they're really nice big houses. And they are closer to a lot of the businesses, so... If this house is not two-story, we'll move, we'll move to, uh, toward the river. draw these guys around. We'll make the block and come back around. And we're not going to have a lot of time because they will begin filtering back. Let's just tr keep drawing them this way. That house would be wonderful if it's two-story. Is the, is the music too loud? I wonder if I need to turn the music down a little bit. It doesn't sound too loud in my ear. I love the music in this game. I really do love it. Okay, I'm going to honk the horn a little bit more and pull them all a little bit further this way around these tight, these small houses over here. And then we'll just make, we'll continue making the block and work our way on around. Uh, I'm just, this character is not developed enough to, to fight all of these zombies, so we're just, we're going to have to try and play it safe for right now. We do have plenty of gas in this car, and it's not that hard to pick up gas, especially for these little cars. So, um, that's one thing I love about the little cars, is they're easy to whip around in. You can carry a reasonable amount of, uh inventory in them and um, yeah we'll just make this block here they're all still kind of headed that way toward this toward where the sound of the horn was oh oh Samantha you're still alive you want to get in get in oh get in Samantha oh hurry up get in the car oh well I think Samantha's dead I have tried to, to um, uninstall that mod. I made a big mistake starting the game with that mod. I was unable to uninstall it because it require, it has maps tied to it. So now this, this game has started and my, my save file is tied to those, to those particular maps that belong to that uh, survivor mod. So when I remove it, I can't reload my save. So I'm stuck with it. Uh, I'm stuck with that mod. So I'm just going to have to try to make the best. Just try to make do with that mod if I can. It's kind of been annoying me more than... I was kind of thinking that I'd get a kick out of it. But honestly, it's it's been annoying me more than anything. Okay. I'm going to have to deal with these guys. I want to see if this is a two-story house. It looks like it might be. Oh, he's got a gun on his back. Okay, I better just go ahead and get the shovel out. I wouldn't mind getting that gun. I'm sure he... The shovel is slow, but it definitely stuns him and slows him down. kind of keeps him strung out a little bit better for him to fight a good bunch of them. Okay. 
Oh, crap. Those guys didn't get drawn away, did they? There's still too many of them in this neighborhood. Oh, God, we're all bad angle. Bad angle, come on, come on. Oh, crap. Oh, she almost got me. I totally missed them. Oh, he's slow. Oh, my goodness. Right, we're gonna have to try and... We're getting a little pa Dang it, they did not get drawn away either, did they? Go, 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 go. Which way do we want to... Oh, my goodness, I can't. <laughs> oh, so many of them. Pro nice propane torch in there. I'm just gonna have to fight until I can clear some of these guys out. I mean, it's we're, it's gonna have to happen sooner or later. I do need to find a place to kind of hold up and rest, though. They're just there's little packs of them everywhere. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get in the car and get out of here. Where did I park the car? It's over here. Let's just try to get into the car. We're not overly exerted yet. Let me go find a quiet place to park. Think about what I've done. It's just too hot here. It's too hot. It's too hot here for right now for him. Let's just try to get away. We'll try to draw more of them away. I really would love to get into this neighborhood with a safe house, if at all possible. can make another block if I need to. Okay. We're going to try to draw them over here. and I'm not going to honk the horn anymore after this. Because I want them drawn to this point. Okay. Let's see if they'll draw to there. We'll make the block try and come in from the back side. I really think that house might be two-story. Just trying to come in slow and quiet here. That's a single-story house. It's, sometimes it's hard to tell if a house is two-story or not. They've got that that roof peak going on. Okay, let me see if I can do a little fighting over here. Maybe thin some of them out. Anybody around me? We got to start thinning out if we possibly can. Oh, he almost bit me. I'm totally missing with this shovel. I've also noticed that the, they've, um, they've nerfed the ability to stand on top of them, I think. Because when they're crawling around on the ground, they've definitely become more dangerous than they seemingly used to be. Let me check my wounds real quick. I do have a dirty bandage. Oh, it's infected. Let's disinfect that. Can't remember how I managed to get that hurt, but put a bandage on that. It's just a laceration, though. Probably climbing through a window like a dummy. Okay. 
Let's see if we can sneak in from the backside here and check out some of these houses. And see if there are any that are two-story. And maybe clear out a couple of random zombies that have filtered in after the horn. Don't need to miss an opportunity to, to do an easy fight if possible. Okay, see now, standing on top of them. Sometimes they start crawling around when you're standing on top of them. I've noticed that. Okay, see, this could be a two-story house. I'm not sure with this peak that they've got here. Sometimes it's hard to tell. That should be a two-story house. This would be perfect for us if it is. Got to be careful climbing through these bushes, too. I could get scratched that way as well. I can't see in that window. Now, that's this is dangerous. I'm going to climb through anyway. Oh, Lord, I hope I'm not making a mistake. Okay. Close the window. Let's get our hand axe out. It's a little bit faster than the shovel. I hear somebody. Let's close this window. I mean, uh, close the curtains. Um, go ahead and disassemble that radio on fast forward. Okay, now uh, he's peckish. I'm going to, let's go ahead and disassemble this one too. Uh, I can't miss any opportunity to try and level up my elect electronic skill. That's going to be important. Let's see. Yeah, let's open up a can of uh, canned tuna here and eat it. I want him to stay well fed as much as possible during this point of the game. Yeah, let's eat all of that. Now, I've got radio receiver. I've got, can I craft a radio? I can dismantle. Is it under survivalists? No, those are going to be the weapons. What can I do? Uh, see, these are his abilities as an engineer. That he can't, he's the only one that's ever going to be able to do these things here. Make an aerosol bomb, make fire bombs, make pipe bombs, make smoke bombs. I want to get to those abilities, but it's going to take him leveling up. And he has to have combinations of a couple of other skills to be able to do these. So that's why we have to really try and save our progress with him. Dismantle a radio. I'm probably going to have to get the recipes to to craft some electronics stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to craft with them yet, so I will go ahead and drop these materials. I'll keep the battery, keep the duct tape. I'm going to drop the electric wire and the bulbs and the radio receivers and the scrap electronics. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop those. Okay. And while we're in this room, there's a crossword magazine. Short sleeve shirt. What else is in here? Okay. Um, we're just going to take, take our time here. The main thing I want to determine is if this house is two-story. I don't think... Hello. I see you... I see you over there. You didn't see me though, thank God. Let's see if I can sneak up on them and work on my sneak here. Really need him to be sneaky. As long as I can move around behind them without... Okay, there's another one out there. I don't need to dilly-dally here. Yeah, they see me now. They see me. This is going to be a problem. They're going to run me on out of this house, it looks like. Okay, fine. That's fine. 
That's fine. I don't think it's a two-story house anyway. It was, uh, it was deceiving me. Um, yeah, this roof line here was deceiving me. That's just, uh, that's nothing. That does not indicate, apparently, that it's a two-story house. Let's pull the shovel out. See if we can string these guys along and get a little experience here. Oh, shovel just went. Okay, we're back to the axe. This takes a little longer, but I do need to up my axe skills. And I need to get this thing repaired big time. The axe is a lot faster. Okay, let's crouch. We are crouching. Is anybody on to me here? Now let me look and see if I've got an updated save file here. It was at 11.30 at 7 minutes old. Okay, let me, let me pause the game real quick and go ahead and copy this down here. Make sure we keep up with his progress. Don't want to lose his progress because I did something stupid. Now, I'm not live streaming today. I am recording. Uh, I did get a new recording tool I'm kind of testing with. Um, this gives me the ability to, to pause the if, if I need to pause and do something. If somebody calls me or I need to take a phone call or whatever. I can just pause the recording without uh, being too much of a hindrance to anybody. Also, this tool will let me, I believe it's going to be able to let me live stream on YouTube instead of just Twitch. So, I have never gone live on YouTube before. That is something that I plan on doing here soon once I'm sure of this, uh, this tool that I'm using. And I know how to know how it works. Do I have scissors already? I do have scissors. Yeah, I don't need to carry another pair of scissors. Okay, buddy. Why don't you come on out of there? Really would like to get back in that house. what I don't need to be wasting my axe like that let me get over here and see if I can actually do some repairs to it make sure we're safe uh where are you at axe uh the axe is all I've got right now the show can I can I fix the shovel yes I can fix the shovel it's not going to be in the greatest condition but it will be did it work No, now that I've used up, dang, I've used up all my, I can't repair the axe now. I need to get in that house and see if I can find a weapon in there. Is he by himself in there? Maybe I can come back in from the front door and uh, sneak around and take him out. Oh, I have not mastered the art of walking through doors yet and closing them behind me. I spend more time trying to close doors behind me than anything. Is this that same guy that I tried to kill early? No, it's different. It's different. My sneaking has gotten better, though. Okay, I'm going to stomp him. I don't want to use the axe up if I can help him. I can get it repaired. Okay, let's close these curtains if nothing else. Is there anything fresh in the fridge? Oh, there's an avocado. I'm going to eat that. Yeah, give me that avocado. 
I'll take that avocado. Okay, he's well fed now. I could grab a frying pan, I guess, and use that as a weapon. Might not be a bad idea. I'm just going to hold on to I'll drop it if I need to. Ooh, there's, a, there's some soup on the stove. Let's cook that. Yeah. Why not? Can't say no to that. All right. Let's do something fun here. Let's just take our time. Take a break. We need to take a break anyway. Let him calm down some. And we'll go ahead and cook this soup here. Uh, I will speed it up while we cook the soup. I got to be careful, though. Okay, somebody's banging. I'm taking a chance here. I'm taking a big chance. They're not directly behind me. I think I'm safe for right now. The soup is almost done. I'm really, I'm really being way too reckless right now on fast forward. I'm being way too reckless. Okay, that soup is heavy. Let me see if I can get it into my backpack. That might be a little better. I'm going to carry it with me and we'll drop it. We'll drop it later. I'm going to drink one of these pops here. And I'm going to disassemble the Value Tech radio. We'll fast forward through that real quick. Um... I'm not going to get carry any more cans of food. We're going to be getting into so many houses of meat cleaver. Let's grab the meat cleaver. That will be a good backup weapon, and I'll grab that kitchen knife too. Okay. Um, let's get the axe out. Let's go through this house. water bottle here. Haven't done that in a while. Okay, who is banging in this house? There is somebody in the house with me. Okay, let's close these curtains. They have they have just busted this house up. Round neck sweater. I wonder if that's it's about time for me to get out of this get out of this lavender dress shirt. There they are. Save my axe if I can. Let's put that let's put the sweater on. Let's go ahead and wear the sweater. We may get hot. We are drowsy. It's only 1.50 in the afternoon, though. I may need to... find some coffee. Carry some coffee with me. Let's get his sleeping pattern back, sleeping pattern back under control here. Nice attached garage here. Uh, let's, yeah, we need a saw on us. And there's more duct tape. Yes, I'll take the duct tape as well, please. It's over here. Some good scrap metal and stuff, but I don't need that right now. That is going to be important very soon, though, and I do need an eraser. I reminded myself the other night. Do I need a battery? No, I don't need to be carrying a battery right now. And I would not mind a flashlight. Some more bandages would be nice as well. Okay, this house is not two-story. Where It did definitely fool me. I'm going to disassemble the television. Okay, now we'll drop some of this stuff that we've disassembled. Uh, 
electric wire, the empty pop can, the radio receiver, the green light bulb. Let's drop all that. Um, can I clean any bandages? Yeah, clean rag. Good. All right, sneak. Um, the car is back behind me. I'm going to check this house out right here. Again, it's got the roof line that makes me think that it might be two-story, but I'm just not sure. This is going to be the last one I try on this row on this street. And if this isn't two-story, we're going to we're going to move toward the river where I know the where I know the houses are two-story. See how they crawl on the ground now? They're crawling forward when they come over. That makes them so dangerous. Oh, God, I keep missing with this axe. It's hard to judge, judge the correct distance. Oh, well, I just lost the axe. I'm gonna have to get the, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get the, uh, frying pan out, I guess. Or the knife, or the meat cleaver. Let's use the frying pan. <laughs> oh, I can attach it to my back. I can attach the frying pan to my back. I can't believe it. I did not even know you could do that. That, now that's cool. Oh, hello. Oh, you're the guy that's carrying the satchel, yes. Ooh. Ooh. I like the frying pan. I like the frying pan. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the duffel bag before we... He's got duct tape in there. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to drop the school bag. And we're going to pick up the duffel bag. And let's get everything that we have in the school bag into our duffel bag now. Okay. What has he got on him? He's got some socks. He does have matches. I don't really need matches right now. I'll need matches whenever I, uh, whenever I'm setting up a, a fishing camp. And that'll be a lot better. Now, do I have a point that I can say? No, I don't have a save point yet. I actually like the frying pan. I'm still trying to get into this house to see if it's two-story or not. I have my doubts. I think it's fooling me. But I'm here. So I want to I wanna check it out. All right, let's see how our frying pan does against these two guys. It's got a little, it's got a little heft to it. Okay, let me see if I can... See, oh, see how she did? See what she just did there? She hurt me. She, she came over that fence and then she lunged forward real quick and got me. They're, they, they've become way more dangerous coming over those fences and when they're crawling than what I remember. That used to be a pretty safe thing to do, was attack them as they were crawling over a fence, but that has changed. That is no longer something that is safe to do unless you're literally right on top of them. Man, this, this is taking too long. God, I can't get them down with this frying pan. Oh, dang it. I can't get them down. And they're in, they're in the ball of death now. I can't fight the ball of death. I'm not good enough to fight the ball of death. He is he's extremely panicked. He's tired. He's overloaded.
I've just got to get away from them. They have fallen behind me a little bit. Let's see if we can get in the window real quick. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Close window. I don't know if they saw me come in here or not. Maybe they didn't. Ooh, a M36 revolver and some rounds. Okay, they do know where I am, so I can't dilly-dally. They're fixing to come through that. Oh, crap. Okay. Close that door. We'll lock them in that room for a little while. Uh, okay, I see you over there, buddy. Let me see if I can take care of you. Now, he knocked him down. Okay, this house is not two-story. Let's go ahead and clear this glass here and get on out of here. Climb through. Hello. Come say hello to my frying pan. He looks like a burly. You look like a burly gentleman. You look like a burly gentleman. Okay, I need another weapon. What have I got? Um, meat cleaver. Okay, there's. Let me see if I can spread them out here. Surely a meat cleaver can't break. This sweater is definitely helping protect me from bites. Okay, they're they're trying to get into the ball of death. Okay, he's down. She's down. She's finally down. Thank God. Okay, is there anything over you guys worth taking? Black digital watch lists. Let's dismantle that. Okay, we're panicked. We're very tired. We're fairly overloaded here. I need to find a good quiet place to rest. Did you hear me? Do you want to come out and play? Come on out and play. That was dangerous. When they're crawling like that, they've become very dangerous. I want to go through that house really good and see if I can find a metal pipe or something. I think the house I was in before had some metalworking stuff in it. I might can go back over next door and get a metal pipe. Close those curtains, please. Long Johns. I'm going to grab those because winter's coming and you just never know if you're going to be able to find those things or not. I don't need to wear them right now, but I will try to keep up with them. Probably put them in some clothes storage whenever I finally do get a, uh, a fishing camp somewhere. It's 4.10 in the afternoon. He is ridiculously tired. I've got to just let him rest. Oh, we've still got that. We've got that. Uh, let me get in the corner over here and get myself safe. We've got this um, pot of soup that we need to eat, don't we? Let's drink a quarter of that. And then we'll drop it after we're done with it. I'm carrying two saws. I don't need to be carrying two saws. Let me drop one of those saws.
I didn't realize I already had a saw on me. I don't need, I knew need a saw, but I, I only need one. Okay, we've got that M36 revolver as well. I would not mind getting a little use out of. We are satiated and well fed. He's very tired though. I'm going to look around for some kind of useful item. Is there anything in here? I've already been in here, I believe. It's bleach. Not ready to drink bleach yet. It hadn't got that bad. It's not that bad. Let's close these curtains over here just to be safe. I probably don't have to sneak around anymore. We're going to disassemble this. There's a bedroom right here I have not been into yet. Close those curtains. Disassemble the lamp. We will disassemble the radio. Strapless bra. Guitar case, huh? Why not? Let's see what we got in here. What's in the guitar case? Nothing. I could wear a beret. I don't know if beret would be his style or not. We'll dismantle the headphones there. Um, now, I could probably drop some of this dismantled stuff. Like the This aluminum is going to be handy later on when I'm able to make an aerosol bomb. I can't really do anything with it right now. I don't need to be carrying those batteries. The frying pan is broken. We're going to drop it. Don't need the light bulbs. I don't need the scrap electronics anymore. I do want my shovel back, though. I'm going to go ahead and drop the shovel. It's done. It's, it's done what it needs to do. I'm going to hold on to the hand axe. I may can repair it. Oh, boy. It's alive, but... Can I repair it a little bit more? I'm just going to have to keep... I'm going to have to keep dugging away on that. No, that hurt it. That, that actually did worse. Now, there's a trick to combining all of this, and I can't remember what it is. All of this, how do you do this? There's supposed to be a way to combine these duct tape, these pieces of duct tape together. I don't, I can't remember how to do it. It's, it's not intuitive, I do remember that. It was not an intuitive process. Oh, do we have a bandage in here? Yes, bandages and adhesive bandages. I could definitely use a couple of fanny packs for sure. And we do have a dirty bandage, so. Let's go ahead, and it is still infected. I must have really cut myself pretty bad there. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. We'll clean that bandage as well. Haven't really found any books to read. I'm not probably going to be able to do that until I get into... What's in here? Have I been in here? Another hammer. Yes, I'll take that hammer. that on our right belt and uh, I've already got a screwdriver I already have a saw so I'm not going to worry about those let's eat a little bit more let's finish this eat a little bit more of this uh, soup I 
Okay, it is about 5.30 in the afternoon. He is tired. I really would wish I had a book to read or something. Tell you what I'm... Oh, he saw me. Oh! Oh! Okay, I didn't realize you could just walk right on up in the house, my man. I think there's a hole in the wall over there. Key ring. I'll take that lighter too. You never know. I might I might have to start a fire to save my life. Okay, how did he get in this house? How did he there's a, just a hole in the wall right here. Or the door is gone. They've kicked the door down. Well then let's close these curtains. He's tired. Um, he's not ridiculously tired anymore, so we're we're better. Okay, this neighborhood's a bust. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do here. Let's get the hammer out. It's hammer time. It's hammer time. Save on that meat cleaver. Oh my god. I need to work on the hammer skills, apparently. Okay, let's work our way back to the car and try and get to, to the posh neighborhoods. Hello, what are you trying to do? You know what, I might as well use up the meat cleaver. Just use it up and then drop it. Save the hammer. Yeah, this neighborhood's a bust. These are all single-story houses. They're not going to work for me. Um, not going to work for what I need and what I want to do. Oh, hello there. Anything good on you? She's got some. Maybe there may be something good. I don't need a lumberjack shirt right now. I'm not going to be able to get into this. It's a wreck. It's a complete wreck. So let's not worry about it. Okay, it's going to be very crowded uh, by the river. It's going to be very crowded. I still do not have a save point yet. So I got to be careful. Okay, so let's work our way toward the river. And we will get to the two-story houses. I know where there's a really nice, nice posh neighborhood. Yeah, these guys have all filtered back into the neighborhood here. Everybody's just trying to get back to their spots. Zombies like to be around things they're familiar with, apparently. Yeah, they're all headed back. They're all kind of migrating back to their their normal things that they know and, and are familiar with. Okay, we're coming up to the river here in the downtown area along the main strip. There's some really nice posh houses down here. not that crowded surprisingly I think I drew a lot of them off earlier whenever I was honking my horn so but they will be migrating back in so this is not gonna last long while they are thin do I want do I dare try to duck into the hardware store do I dare 
you know what? I think I dare. I'm probably going to regret this. I'm probably going to regret this so much. Oh, it's not open. Oh, no. Oh, oh, here they are. Okay. Can I? No, that's too many. That's too many. That's too many. I'm going to have to jump this fence. These are single-story houses, too, so... Not going to work for me. We haven't really got to the nice posh houses on the river. That high fence should keep that little mini horde back there at bay till I can circle back around. He is very tired and he's in a slight panic. Oh, we got a car here. I'm gonna go in sneak mode. Hello there. It's two of you. Let's see if I can string you. Oh, they're in the. They're they're trying to get into the. Oh. Oh, I'm misjudging distance from that angle. Crawlers are dangerous. I hope this meat cleaver can last a while. Man, finally! Black digital watch. We will dismantle that. Nice black leather jacket. Okay, we got one more to fight here. I'm just going to use up this meat cleaver as long as I can. So it's gone. Nice car. Keys. And an annotated map. Yeah, it's out of gas. That's fine, though. Okay. I know it's here. I've got a key to it. I'll, I'll mark it on the map. If I ever get gas, uh, get a uh, gas station up and running, I can always come back and use this car if I need to need to get a quiet moment that I can mark the map for it. It is a nice car. Okay, let's see if we can get out and get somewhere safe here and take a moment to try try to mark the map here. Do I have a save point yet? Yes, I do. Let me go ahead and take care of that real quick. Apologize about that. Drop that in here. Okay, so if we do something stupid, we've at least got a reasonably safe point to restart at here. Okay. Let's mark the map. No, hold on. I hear somebody. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you weren't going to let me do it, were you? There's more coming. Oh, crap. Mis misjudged the distance. Get away from them. Get away from them. He's too tired for this. Again. I thought maybe they'd have played Ring Around the Rosies with me, but they didn't want to. See, the 
getting on top of them is definitely different now. Oh my god, we you die. Okay, I want to mark this map. I don't want to forget about this car. I like this car. Okay, so we're, we're actually right across the street from the school. Car. Key. Not, ca not car and carry, car and key. That's fine. Oh! Oh, gosh, she almost got me. See, that's me being, doing something stupid. Taking too much time in the map. I need to be in a, in a room with the door closed to do that. I'm gonna have to train myself. I could have just gotten him killed right there. Could have just gotten him killed by doing something stupid and reckless. To... To pull out the map, to mark on the map, we've got to be inside some kind of room with the door closed or something. While I'm at this house, I'm going to see if I can get a weapon out of it. Let's pull out our hammer. Hello. She's just in there hanging out. Are you by yourself? Okay, he is overexerted. We gotta rest. Can we close some curtains here? Yes. Ooh, let's eat some chocolate. I can't I can't resist carrying around some fresh bread. Let's also go ahead and see if we can finish this soup. And then I'm going to drop that soup. I got to remember how to combine the uh, small pieces of duct tape together. He is we've got some moderate exertion moodle up here I do want to kind of take care of. Pickles um I'll grab those pickles. I can't say no to pickle. We do have a book shelf. Uh, let's turn the volume down on the TV. I'm not going to dismantle the TV yet. I may read a book and maybe watch a uh, watch a show or something. See what kind of books we have to choose from over here. Tailoring Volume 3, nothing that I can really read right now. Nothing that's that's at my level that would be useful to me. We do have another adhesive bandage. I will take that and fill my water bottle. Oh, there's a... It's right here. More food. I think we're good on food right now. I may have to rest, temporarily rest in this house and get his belt. Yes. It's 20. Yeah, I think we may sleep here. We may go ahead and sleep here. I may wait and try and see if I can watch a Life and Living show. Let's get this on the correct channel here. He's exerted. He's ridiculously tired. Yes, hand torch. Grab one. 
uh, that will help me whenever I am going in a really, I'm stuck in some dark house in the middle of the night and I can't see what I'm doing. That just very well might save my life. Okay, I'm waiting for midnight. I want to watch the uh, the show. Let's go ahead. Let's eat these pickles. And I got to finish this pot of soup. And drop that thing. It's too heavy. Uh, let's drop the... Oh, I've got an extra belt. I'm going to drop that. Let's drop the scrap electronics. Let's tr drop the meat cleaver. The meat cleaver's done. Get rid of those. I've got way too many ripped sheets. I don't need that many ripped sheets. Let's drop all of those and maybe pick up two. That'll be fine. Going to speed up time a little bit while we wait for midnight. Once he... And I'm probably going to take another bite of that soup and drop the soup here. Right around the time the, uh, the Life and Living show comes on. I don't care how tired he is. I don't want him to go and sleep till midnight. I want him to get a... I want him to sleep until daylight. I may set my alarm. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the soup. Yeah, let's drink the last of it. And then we'll drop that. Okay, that's going to help our weight just a little bit. Can I do any repairing on anything? I don't think I've got enough take a chance here okay that got it in a little better condition hmm it's 22:40. we're well fed we are getting bored can I read I can read a um, I can read a crossword magazine take care of the boredness Okay, and revolver. What, what condition is it in? Let's just kind of look at this thing here. It is in reasonable condition. It uses a 38 special. Life and Living is about to come on. Do I want to load this thing? I need a holster for it. Let's go ahead and load it. If we, I think we have some bullets for it. Oh, we got to open the uh, box of 38 rounds. Okay. Yeah, reload it now. Okay, where is it? Now, I've lost track of where it is in my inventory here. Where did you... There you are. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the backpack. And I'm going to put the third, the rounds in the backpack. I don't plan on using it. It won't hurt to use it. But if I do use it, it's going to be while I'm drawing uh, a, a horde away or trying to draw somebody away from an area that I'm in. I'm not just going to just get into a brawl with it. I'm going to use the sound of it. Okay, I'm waiting on this Life and Living show to come on, and then we're going to go to sleep. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit till it gets to midnight. 
Okay, here we go. Which one are we watching now? Uh, and I'm gonna set my alarm for six o'clock and we'll try to catch another one before we leave this house. What's on here? He's talking about Paul's. Looks like it's just an entertainment show. It's not a training show. That's fine. That's fine. Well, he does have some boredom that he needs to get rid of, so. I'll take what I can get. While he is watching that show, let me see if I've got a save point that I can update here. It doesn't look like I do yet, so. We will have one after he goes to sleep, though. Is he not picking up anything? I don't think he's picking up any skills. We haven't looked at our skills. We are... All we have is some electrical and carpentry. That is it. We have got so much work to do on getting his skill levels up. But we are... We've just started the game, so we're fine. Let's go to bed. Which room? Let's use this room here. Okay, this will give us a save point here. Go ahead and take care of that. Alright, so we've got our progress saved to this point. And... Uh, Boy, he is sleeping. Oh, I slept right through the show. I was going to set my alarm, and I completely forgot to set the alarm. He is sleeping a long time. He slept till 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, well, he deserved it. Let's get our weapon out. He needed, he needed some sleep. He was very tired. He is probably hungry. Let's raid the refrigerator before we leave. I think I'll eat those chips. Is anything in the fridge? I'll take those taco shells. Can't resist some taco shells. I'll take those crackers. All right, I'm going to try and work my way back to the car, and we're going to try and get back down to where the the posh neighborhood is where the really nice two-story houses are very good now the car should be over here let's go in sneak mode see if we can ooh, they there's a good group of them kind of hanging around it I may have to fight my way toward it the fog may help me, though. I may be able to draw some of them off of it individually. Or I might just have to make... I might have to circle around and make her... Okay, good, 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 good. You know what? We're going to... We're going to circle around and come back to it. Let them follow me around this building here. Yeah, we're fine. Good. It cranked right up. These small cars are usually pretty good about cranking up. I wasn't able to get into that hardware store, but I'll be back. We'll be back. We, we don't need to, we don't really need a lot of hardware right now anyway. I'm not really going to be ready for that stuff until I am setting up a safe house or setting up a fish camp. It was worth a try to kind of duck in there and try to get into it, but... If, I, if he was a little stronger and faster, I probably would have fought it out and gotten on in there. But he's not... His skill level and his speed and his strength is not up high enough yet for any of that. 
So we're just trying to quietly make our way down here. I could probably... Yeah, these houses here on, coming up on the left inside this the fence there here on the riverfront those are perfect for us so I want to kind of draw the zombies away if I can and come back and get a good look see on that house okay we're gonna come down here and we're gonna start honking the horn Just try to do the herding trick. Try to do the cat herding trick. It's not going to take me long to find a good safe house in that neighborhood. I think I want the one right on the corner there if I can get it. On that back corner. Yeah, we'll make a block and come back around. I want to draw them to this corner and then kind of abandon them in this corner here. Okay. That's a good point to draw them to. Now let's quietly work our way around the block and come back in from the, from the other side. And maybe I bought myself a little time here. good little crowd of them here. They're not going to follow me very far though, so I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah. Drew a lot of these away. It's not as crowded now in here, but... Do I want this house? Which one do I want? Ooh, that's nice right there. That is so nice. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, there's some survivors over there. Well, you guys can have that house. I'll take this house. Oh, you set off the alarm. That's just freaking wonderful. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. They just set that alarm off in that house. It's going to draw every one of the zombies back. Okay, I'm going to have to try and use the horn again. Yeah, they're all triple. That's just great. That's just great. These survivors, look at them. All these guys I had drawn away, now they're all coming back. The survivors are annoying me more than they're, than I'm thinking that they're cool. Okay, we gotta, let's start trying to get them away from that corner. I want that corner back there. I want that house that I pulled into the driveway. That's the house I want. Or I could just get this house here. But it's, it's way too close to the, to the main downtown area. Let's, let's draw them back down to this corner down here, where we were. Let's get them herded back down to the corner, the far away corner. Those survivors screwed me up, completely screwed me up. Also, I'm still concerned about when I when I uh, come back into a game, alarms going off. Okay, here's all the guys that I had originally herded down here. 
Let's get them all back to the corner. In fact, let's just pull you guys way out here in the middle of the field. How about that? See if they will mostly go to that corner. And let me try to get back around to that house I like so much. <laughs> I like this fence around this place too. These are the these are the guys that were that were drawn to the these are the guys that were all drawn to the alarm. I'm gonna draw them away with my horn. Let's draw them away with my horn. Let's draw them back this way. I don't want, they, they were drawn to the house alarm. Not really giving it enough time for them to to draw off to the sound of the horn. I should really be more patient. It's hard for me to be patient for some reason when I'm streaming. I feel like, um, or when I'm recording, I feel like I need to constantly be doing something. I can't really take my time. But I've got to. I've just got to train myself to take my time. I really do. This is the house I want right here. Those survivors next door are, I don't know what to think about that. I'm gonna let them do their thing. I may let one of them, this house has been broken into. I'll have to barricade this if I do keep the house. I hear somebody in here. Also, this is probably way too loud. The survivors, they're just causing all kinds of chaos next door. Oh, well, hello. Did you follow me inside? How did you get in here? channel are we on here? Let's get this on life and living. In case I can pick up something. Close those curtains. Uh, this is a two-story house, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's, let's systematically go through this house. Propane torch, absolutely. Get that on. We've got another ball peen hammer. We'll we'll grab that. Oh, there's a metal pipe. Hold on. You know what? We're gonna attach that to our back. Use it as a weapon if we need to. Grab more duct tape. 
I'm liking it so far. I don't like the busted out windows, but I can barricade that if I need to. Close the curtains. Oh crap, somebody's here. Where are you? Okay, I gotta figure out where they are. I don't want them busting. I don't want them busting windows. you causing problems. Yeah, they're just busting this next door house. This next door neighbor house. They're just busting it to pieces over here. This is a beautiful house right here, too. This is really a beautiful house. But it is all... Every window is busted out. Ah, do I want to deal with these guys or not? What do I want to do with these guys? I don't seem to be able to have the option to... Okay, well, I can talk to him. Oh, okay, here we go. Al Alas, there. Invite to group. Can I just have him follow me? Not sure. Can he just accompany me? What is how do I give him that order? Give order. Here we go. Barricade, chop wood, clear inventory, explore, follow. That's what I want. Just follow. And he can just kind of hang out with me, I guess. Yeah, he'll just kind of... We'll just have to see how that worked. Why did I just get the scare prompt? I want to make sure that... He will get in the car if I get in the car. What? Oh, there's zombies. Come on, let's go. Let's help Claire over here. Claire's in trouble. Claire's gotten herself in trouble. Buds, dismantle sneaker and a jacket. Okay, all right, Alice. There, we're gonna try to make a good team now. I want to make sure that if I get in the car to go, you will jump in the car too. I'm not sure about that. He did, he get right on in there. Perfect. Now, will you get out? Yes, okay. All right, come on, let's go in here and clear out. Oh, I see somebody coming over here. I see a friend coming. Let's take care of him. Well, I'm afraid we're going to get in each other's way here. Oh, here comes another one. I got to learn how to fight with these guys. We got to try to learn to tag team if we can. And I. Oh, and I still didn't make it through the door correctly. Come on in. Can you not open that door? Come on in. Come on in. I'm not sure if he'll come in the house or not. I'm going to leave that up to him. Okay, I want to continue my systematic search of this house. Okay, he did come on in. I'm not convinced yet that I want this to be my base. I want to... I want to check out the kitchen for one thing. 
the kitchen is very, very important. I need to be able to organize the... Get out of the way, buddy. Get out of the way. You're... Please get out. Oh, okay. The door was closed. He wasn't in my way. The kitchen is very important. Got a broom. And some denim jeans. Haven't even been upstairs yet. Let's look at the kitchen now. I do. don't know what I need. I need to be able to stand right here. I really wish that I really wish the refrigerator and the stove were over here. I can't pick them up yet. I don't think I can move. I hear somebody, Alice, Alistair. I hear some. You know what? I'll worry about the kitchen later. I, I can make this work. I can. I'll have to just move around if I need to. I would really prefer to be able to stand in one place and do all of my cooking, and re and reach everything uh, it, uh, that I need to. I need to be using this pipe. Is what I need to be doing. Uh, this kitchen is so spread out. The sink's way over here. I need the sink and this. Uh, I would love to move the refrigerator and the oven over here. If I could stand right here in front of the sink, have the refrigerator. Let's see. Yeah, I've got access to a lot of the cupboards here. If I could get the refrigerator over here, that would be perfect. I'm willing to walk to the stove. Uh, once I get something prepared, if I could just move the refrigerator. Can I pick it up yet? I probably don't have the levels yet to pick it up. It's too heavy for inventory. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Let me go over here. Let's drop our... Satchel. Let's just drop a bunch of stuff here. I'll pick those back up if I need to. Can I pick it up now? Oh, there's items in it. We gotta empty it out. Oh, it's just a banana. I'll eat that. I'll eat the banana. Now. Oh, there's probably something in the freezer. Ooh, there is some good stuff. We'll move all that to the. We'll move all that to the floor for now. And then we'll reload it back in there. Let's pick it up. And I want to move it over here, if at all possible. Uh, I can't turn it around. What's the problem here? Oh, I need you to turn for me. Why won't you rotate? Freaking annoying. I can't get it to rotate. What am I doing wrong? Mm, how do you... So, man, this is annoying me. Rotate, please. Rotate. I can't get it to I can't get it to rotate mm. Mm -mm -mm. let's try that again let's pick it up
place rotate okay what in the world I am so confused right now press tab to change mode yes Mm. It's not showing me though what this is so confusing. Okay, it says to how do you rotate it? Oh my god. This this is oh we're gonna have to just put it back where it was. How am I screwing that up so bad? I'm going to pause this real quick and try and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I'm back. I just figured it out. I had to... You've got to pick it up and place it uh, with it facing the wrong... Or whatever direction it was originally facing. Oh, no. I just yelled out by accident. Then you have to click it again with this command and hold the click down and just move the cursor around it and it will flip once you've got it where you want it so we do have it here I've got a good little cul-de-sac for cooking here now so I can stand in this spot in front of the sink and I can get to the sink I can get to the refrigerator can I get to both of these and I can get to these two cupboards over here so I've got five cupboards that I can get to. I've got the refrigerator with the freezer. I've got the sink. Let's close those curtains. And I'm willing to walk to the stove to cook. I can move the stove over here if I need to. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm willing to walk to the stove if necessary. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff back in the freezer. Can I? Yeah, I should be able to just get it straight into the... No, I can't. If I stand right here, can I reach it? No, I've got to pick it up. That's fine. I'll just put it in my base inventory. And then we'll get it back into the fridge here. Uh that goes in the freezer yeah these go back in the freezer the steak goes in the freezer I think that was everything that I dropped out of the fridge let me go ahead and pick my inventory back up now let's let's get the um, Put that on my back here and the rest of this stuff can go into well I don't need the scrap electronics can go into the duffel bag I'll leave the scrap electronics on the floor for now um well no you know what we'll just store it we will eventually use that to repair our uh, generator so we'll just we'll just put that in the uh, in the closet here. Anything like that for now can go in the closet. Um, let's see. Where did I put that at? Is, is that keep up with the, Yeah, there's the scrap electronics. Let's put that in here. Um we, I still haven't explored the rest of this house yet, buddy. We got to... We haven't even been upstairs yet. The kitchen, I'm happy with the kitchen. I should be able to just get right on in here and cook up all kinds of good stuff. Throw something on the stove. We'll be good to go. Uh, do we have any canned... Yeah, we've got gravy mix. 
Uh, we're going to be able to put so much food in this house. It's going to be amazing. Did I see jerky? I'm going to go ahead and eat that jerky. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with the kitchen. I do need to get some planks and nails and do some barricading. That one's not going to be difficult. We're probably going to need to put some rope sheets out the uh, windows here. So let's go ahead and make some sheet, sheet ropes. We'll get four for now. And we'll disassemble a little bit of furniture upstairs. And get, actually, let's go ahead and disassemble this table here. Should give us a couple of nails out of the table and maybe a couple of planks as well. Let's fast forward through, fast forward through that. What do we get? What do we get? We only got scrap wood out of that. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? We'll just disassemble as we need to. Haven't even been upstairs. There's probably a zombie upstairs waiting for me right now as I'm speaking. Does anybody know what the hotkey is for fast forwarding? Uh oh. Go ahead and. Come on, I need you to fast forward now. I, I really want to, I, I need my hotkey. Um, we'll go ahead and take out this table as well. Okay, did we get any nails? We did get some nails. And it's nice, I see a plank. We'll, we'll use that plank if we need to. Right now the nails are what's important. Okay, Alistair, let's go up here and let's go check out the upstairs of this house. This is the most important part. I want to put a escape rope out that window there. Anybody in here? Nice bedroom. Nice bedroom. We will dismantle those earbuds. Fancy shoes. Some tights. Uh, we'll put an escape rope out this window as well. Just after we've made sure that we've cleared the house. Electric wire duct tape. Let's pre let's do a little work here on the where's my axe at? What I do with the axe? I know I've still got that axe on me. Or do I? Did I lose track of the axe somewhere along the way? Here it is. I want to do a little more repair work on this axe. Did we break it? What happened to it? Oh, it probably went into my hand now. I keep forgetting that it moves stuff around. That gave it a little bit of a buff. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better here. Nothing. It's probably because we're actually... Yeah, we're low on duct tape. We don't actually have two full rolls of duct tape. That's fine. That's fine. Keep that electric wire there. Okay, let's hang an escape rope here. And close those curtains. Uh, what is in here? Bathroom. Okay, we got some nice vitamins in here. We've got some painkillers and bath towels. All right.
right. Am I carrying a lot of extra? Yeah, we've got a bottle. Of, I'm going to keep that on me. Ooh, this bread is going stale. I need to I need to start eating some of this bread. Okay, it's 5.50 in the evening. Attach that metal pipe to my back. Okay, um, then there's one more room. What is this room? Is it a walk-in closet? No, that's the uh, entrance to the bedroom. Okay. Let's finish clearing out this upstairs, Alistair. Nice storage in here. We've got more ropes and hammers and... It's good to know more. Oh, there's an M14 rifle. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to grab that. I wish they'd had some ammunition, though. Okay, I, I love the M14 rifles. Ooh, nice entertainment room. Nice entertainment room. Oh, I love this room. Okay. We're going to have to hang some escape uh, ropes out these windows as well. fact let me go ahead and do that right now yeah add escape rope what kind of nice little books do we have over here we got what do we have in these oh we're gonna fill these things up with books we've got fishing volume one I'm gonna definitely read that tonight I don't think I've read that yet. Let me look at my skills. Yeah, I'm definitely going to read that book. What else do we have? We've got two fishing. We've got foraging volume one. We're going to read that one for sure. And we've got cooking volume one. We've got good three good books here to read when we get to, once we've cleared this house out and we get a chance to having trouble getting the door open okay we've got a couple of more rooms oh this house is so nice I love this house okay let's add another escape rope here or have I used up all my ropes I guess I have we're going to have to probably craft a couple of more ropes that's fine that's fine we'll just close these curtains for now Close the curtains. Close the curtains. Let's check out this closet. Keystar. What is that? Somebody just busted a window in this house. We got problems. Look at this big old room. Oh, we got more right. We got, uh, we do have some rounds here. I'm going to have to come back to this. Close these curtains. we got to figure out who just busted in the house. So it was probably one of these dad burn survivors. we got some guitarage going on here. One more closet. One more closet. I love this house. Okay. Okay, let's go see who's busting windows down here. If it's a survivor, I'm going to be pissed off. Let's close these let's close these curtains too. Oh crap, it wasn't a survivor. It was you, wasn't it? Where did you come in at? Why did you come in here? Thank you, Alistair. Where did she come in at? Where did she come in? I'm going to have to go around and barricade some of these windows. Let's pick up this plank. And the nail. I may have enough nails. I hope I do. We need to put curtains over this door as well. Is it going to let me barricade the window? What am I missing here? Uh, 
Uh, am I not clicking the correct thing? Hold on. Let's remove the broken glass. Maybe I have to remove the broken glass first. Do I not have enough? Who's banging? Who's somebody still banging? We're not out of the woods yet. Is somebody in here? Alistair, why don't you climb through? I think there's somebody in there, but I can't see them. This is dangerous. Yeah, they're in there. Garbage bag. Okay, I'll take the garbage bag. We'll need that. What's on her corpse? Anything. Okay, we've got some welding and wire stuff to work with out here. It's a car battery. we got good stuff. Fertilizer. I'm liking this house a lot. liking it. I got a lot of barricading to do. Um, I got to figure out what the problem is. Why I'm, Do I just not have enough planks on me? I'm wondering. But it's not telling me. It's not giving me the option to barricade it. Maybe I need to go into the crafting menu. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me let me figure out. I'm going to pause this. Let me figure out what I'm doing wrong. Here. Okay, I think I figured out what my problem is. I don't have enough nails. That's the problem. Let's go back in here. I don't need to be sneaking. Let's go back in here, Alistair, and let's, uh, we'll get a nail out of this chair here. We'll get another nail here. And there may be more laying on the ground as well. Speed that up. Speed that up. I need to figure out that hotkey. Yeah, there's some good nails. There's some good nails. At least enough to make one barricade. Now it sh should give me the option. Yes. I need more planks though. Okay, let's speed that up. Okay. Okay, I want to I want to barricade this window to Let's look around the outside, make sure that nobody else is around. I love this high fence. Oh, who just set off another alarm? Man, I tell you what, I like that house even better. But I've already gotten started in this house. So we're going to, uh, we're going to... Man, there's alarms going off everywhere. Fine, let's get the pipe out. Who has set off an alarm now? Okay, let's craft a couple of more sheet ropes here. I'm just going to craft a bunch of them. We are getting hot. I may have to take off some clothes here and I could certainly stand to get a couple of more nails to hang some sheet ropes um, we'll we'll let's disassemble some of these stools they're kind of in our way should get a nail out of them
No, just scrap wood. That's we got a chair over here we'll get rid of. It will not stay on fast forward. Oh, we did get a plank and we got a nail. That's good. Good news. Good news. I'll take it. How many nails do I have? I've got two nails. That's enough for another barricade. We'll barricade this window here. We'll come along and add more planks later. I just don't want them just easily sliding into this house. Okay, that, that'll at least help slow them down. Let's take apart this table right here. Scrap wood. I hear somebody banging. Are they coming around again? Who's... Oh, dang you. Oh, okay, well he took care of him, didn't he? Okay, nobody's banging now. We're just going to have to slowly clear out around this... Uh, around this house. It's going to take time. Meanwhile, let's take this table apart over here. We ought to get some good stuff out of it. Maybe maybe a couple of more nails. Yeah, plank and nails. I just want the nails right now. Uh, t -t 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 leave the TV going. Uh, it's over here. Okay, let's go put down a couple of more sheet ropes upstairs, and we probably want to put something in front of these stairs here to block it. And we'll, we'll just use the uh, we'll use the sheet ropes to get up and down. Let's put a sheet rope here. Got one there. does not have a let's put another one here I guess we just need all the sheet ropes we we can get to make sure we can get out of there get up and out of this into and out of this upstairs he keeps closing these doors I think I've already got one in here no I was going to put one in here Uh, do I not? I guess I'm out of nails, aren't I? Yes, I'm out of nails. Okay, I need to... Somebody's banging again. Which one of these do I want to be my main bedroom? I guess I want this to be. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and store... The, uh, the guns here. We're going to get some gun storage going on. Um, the rifle at least. I might keep the revolver on me. 38 special rounds. I gotta finish this, uh, going to finish the rest of the bread there where are the rounds for the rifle what do I do with them I know I picked them up they've got to be in the tote bag that's the third those are the rounds for the well, I uh, could have sworn I picked up the rounds for the rifle. I'm going to keep the revolver on me. 
the M14, we must not have picked up any magazines or rounds for it. I must have mis must have misremembered. Must have misremembered. Okay. And I need to get my hands on some more nails. Do I let's disassemble this chair over here. Not the door. The chair. Yeah, we'll disassemble the fire the white fancy chair. Any nails? No, just scrap wood. Okay, fine. I'll disassemble this door. I ought to get some planks and some nails out of that. So, no, just scrap wood and door hinges. And scrap wood. Okay. Um. Let's disassemble this chair. I did get a plank, and we got some nails. Okay, good. I'll take the plank two for now. Okay, so now this ought to be able to allow me to hang an escape rope here. Yeah. Perfect. Now, I want to get one on this south side of the building as well, but I do need some more nails. So let's, let's take apart this table here. It's going to be time to go to bed here. Yeah, there's a nail. Good, 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 good. It's about time to go to bed. Yeah, let's hang one out. This bathroom window here. Do I not... What do I not have? I've got a nail. I must not have a rope sheet. Okay. Alistair, get out of the way. Okay. Oh, no. Woo, that could have hurt myself right there. Yeah, I can make a couple of more here. We'll make a few of them. We're going to need some extra ones. They'll be they'll be eating those uh, rope sheets. Um... They will be destroying them offhand, so you can't have too many of them. And it's good to have some spares upstairs to to do some replacements. Okay. Now. We need to block the stairs with something good and heavy. Something big, if there is anything left. Looks like the only thing I really have is this right now. This is not a permanent solution. I think that'll stop them. Maybe. Let me see if I'm able to walk through it. If I'm able to walk through it, they're going to be able to walk through it. No, they should not. They'll have to tear it down. Um, if they really are determined to get up there, it's not going to stop them. But it will stop the, it will stop the aimless rambler from coming up the stairs. Now, I I have been playing this game a long, not that long of a time, but I have never had zombies just wander up the stairs and stand outside my bedroom. I have heard people talk about it happening. They only will go up these stairs and come through this thing if they have literally chased me into this house and they know that I'm up there. They've seen me go up there. So this is just... Uh, just peace of mind more than anything. What I could really do once I get a sledgehammer is demolish those stairs and then we'll just use the... we'll just use the sheep ropes at, at that point. So... 
So here's how we'll just get on up the house here. Uh, hold on. Did I not... Uh, how am I not doing this command correctly? Um, is it because of that door there? What is... What am I doing wrong here? Oh, there he goes. Okay. He can use that one. Okay, so... So we'll use these sheet ropes. Now, why can't I climb this one? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's just a timing. It's a timing issue. So we can get up and down with the sheet ropes. Electronics Magazine 3. Let's read that real quick. Give me something to do real quick. I need, I definitely want to up my electronics skill. Uh, let's go get a book. Let's read a book, and we are drowsy. What the hell am I carrying on me here? We've got these scrap electronics. Let me drop those off. I do have a extra sheet rope I'll drop off. I think I just read this. We'll put it in there to show that it's been read already what's in my bag I am carrying some food I don't need this garbage bag right now on me the uh, the kitchen knives let's put them in the kitchen don't really plan to use them as a weapon if I can help it We'll just put cutlery here in this in this uh, cupboard. Yeah, when I stand here, I can reach everything. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I've got an extra plank on me. I need to temporarily drop. Those things are heavy. We'll just drop that here till I can accumulate some more nails and we'll we'll board up a few more windows. And I probably need to put some sheets over these doors as well. Let's go um, you know what I would really I need to hang a once I take these stairs out, I'll hang a uh, sheet rope here in the stair in the stair area. And um, that'll be where inside the house how we get up and down. All right, we got a lot of bad noodles here. Let's just go. Let's just call it a night. Let's just call it a night. We'll go to our bedroom here and call it a night. This will also give us a save point. To store our progress. Copy that. Yep. Alright, let me check my email real quick, see if anybody's been trying to get a hold of me while we do that. Okay. Hang on just a second. Pause this for just a second. I need. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving uh, this new record uh, feature I've got where it does let me pause the game to take care of some issues if I need to. So it is six o'clock in the morning. Ooh, I hear I hear our show. I hear our show going. I hear our show going. Let's. No, 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 no. Go out the. Go go down the go down the. We're, we're too late. We're going to miss our show. This is a big house. We're going to be able to really do a lot of good stuff. Oh, it's cooking show. Cooking show. I need to be reading a cooking book, too. 
Wonderful. Let's check our skills real quick. We are, it's real early in the game, so we, we're just really getting started. I lost a lot of time getting into uh, Riverside. I started way out in that, way out in that um, trailer park. We lost a lot of time around that factory and we just, we had to get in. We took a lot of time finding a safe house too. So uh, we can really start trying to uh, grind out some progress now, hopefully. He's, he's bored and a little sad, but uh, that's fine. We'll work on all that stuff. We've got plenty of stuff to do. We got to get these corpses out of here for one thing. Definitely want to get rid of these corpses. I don't want them in the house with me. Okay, I think the show is over. Let's grab a corpse and cart it off. We'll just drop them out here for now. Along with the others. Let them deteriorate. Maybe they can collect some maggots and we can use those to uh, do some fishing with. And of course the door did not shut behind me. I haven't mastered that yet. Is there anybody else's corpse in here? Okay, uh, we are feeling a little sad. We're fairly heavily loaded. I may have to take off something. I think I may be wearing too many clothes. If I take away this and use those stairs, am I going to regret it? You know what? I'm going to take a chance just for convenience and for the sake of the people watching the stream. Um, I have never, I've never had a zombie follow me up, just walk up the stairs, a zombie horde come upstairs and attack me while I'm asleep. Now that there's a first time for everything. I've got Alistair to kind of watch my back. So we're going to, we're going to keep the stairs until we're able to demolish them and put a rope, put a rope ladder in here. And I'm basically doing that just for the sake of people watching the stream. So they don't have to watch me run outside and climb up a rope ladder. That does kind of, uh, kind of kills the, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, immersion kind of kills the immersion okay I need there's a plan I need more planks and I need more nails and we need to start kind of stocking this house up with some cool stuff and I was going to try and read a book too while it is foggy outside why don't we just start reading it's 650 we're not that hungry Let's just go ahead and start reading. We'll put this on fast forward and just try and knock some of this stuff out. We kind of got to let him calm down anyway. So we're going to let him, we're going to, we, we've done a lot of running around. We've dealt with some hordes here. We're going to just try and read, try and get some start pecking away at some skill levels. We're going to let Alistair watch our back there while we're on fast forward. We've got some food on us. We've got the kitchen pretty well set up for cooking once we start coming back with some good cooking items. And we'll get all that we need from these surrounding houses for all of that. I'm going to let him finish, get about halfway through the book, and then we're going to eat something. A little bit more through that book there. 
Okay, let's pull out some let's pull out some food here. We'll just eat this canned tuna. We will open the canned tuna. And we'll eat all that. That should probably get us back to being well fed enough for us to finish this book here and go back on fast forward. Eating up pretty much half the day uh, getting through this book, but that's fine. We're in a we're in a relatively safe location. Um, we've got plenty of other houses around us that we can that we can go get food out of. Start building up our kitchen. We just upped something. What did I just what just happened? Probably carpentry. I think a carpentry show may have come on uh, TV and helped us there. Very good. He's about finished with this book. Oh. Okay. Let's put that back. He is a little sad. He is peckish here. Uh, don't I have some crackers? On? I've got taco shells. Yeah. Let's finish those taco shells. How much duct tape do I have? I don't know if that counts up to two or not. Let's see if we can work on the hand axe a little bit more. Yeah, we got a little bit of improvement on that. Drop off that empty tin can there. We're still a little heavy. What am I carrying? Probably the revolver and the wrench. The wrench can probably be... Yeah, we'll put the wrench there. And the belt, that'll help a little bit. I am carrying some extra bandages. I do need a fanny pack. I've got this hand torch. Let's put the hand torch in the bag. Let's put the hand axe in the bag. The saw. I got a lot of stuff in my general inventory that needs to be in my bag. Is my problem here. That's why I'm so heavy. I'm carrying a lot of extra bandages too. Seeing as I as I do tend to get hurt a lot. That ball peen hammer. I don't need to be carrying the ball peen hammer, so let's put that in this utility closet here. We'll have that as a backup if we need it. Yeah, okay, that's helping us with our um, with our weight. Okay, it's 2:40 in the afternoon. Let's let's go to the house next door, Alistair. Let's see what they've got next door. We may find some ammo. I want to breeze. I want to breeze through this hedgehole like, like Homer Simpson, just like Homer. Now I think they've already got some busted-out windows in this house. So yeah, yeah. There's already some busted windows. Now he's already in the house. Is the door unlocked? Oh, that's right. Those uh, those other survivors were already in here. What is in here? Ooh, good stuff. There's an empty gas can. Good to know. We got some more planks. More duct tape. Yes. Box of screws. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, there's a radio over here I can disassemble. We'll fast forward through that as quick as we can. Okay. Um. Oh, scared me. Thought he was a zombie. <laughs> and we can do a lot of disassembling in here. Uh, there's scrap wood. There's doorknobs. There's door hinges. 
got on him there? Blue pen, a lighter. Ooh, an empty gardening spray can. Let's keep up with that. When we do our, that's that's a, a rare find. Rare find. We'll use that to treat uh, if we have any flour. Yes, let's get that in our kitchen. We'll use that to treat any any of our crops that are that are um, having any diseases. I'll eat that apple on the fly right now. Go ahead and eat that. Let's get. I'll drink that juke juke juice box. And yeah, all of this stuff here can come to our kitchen. We're just going to start building up our kitchen with cooking supplies. Granola bar, yes, take that. Yeah, we'll get the rolling pin and the muffin tray. We'll get everything. We want everything that we need to cook with. Get an extra can opener. The can opener can break eventually. So it's always a good idea to have a backup. It's in here Let's see if there's anything in the toolbox no oh anything in the laundry okay Alistair let's keep let's keep looking around this house ooh some white and red wine I definitely can always pour myself a glass of wine that will help him with his okay let's do a little disassembling while we're right here in front of it get some nails I will try and fast forward through this kind of stuff as much as I can with him standing there kind of watching over me it makes me feel a little better I really did try to uh, remove that mod but it's I couldn't do it without messing up my my sandbox game it, the the that uh, mod has got some maps tied into it, and if I remove the mod, I can't start the sandbox game because I don't have the maps. Okay, we got two planks and six nails. Let's grab those, and let's go put some. Put those in my general inventory. It's raining outside. This is where we need some crops. This house has just been tore to pieces. Okay, this, yeah, let's barricade that window. Do I have enough to barricade this one? Yeah. Alright, let's get back over to this house. Oh, no, while I'm here, while I'm here. While I'm here, let's unload this food into the kitchen. Came in the wrong door, I believe. Yeah, let's get this stuff into the cupboards. Try and get this organized. Let's get right here in the middle. And pull this up. We want... I think we're going to put our utensils and stuff like that in here. So let's put the extra can opener in there. Let's put the... Did I not get more food than this? I thought I had more food than this. Okay. And we'll put some flour and pasta and stuff like the cereal and the crackers and the flour and the granola bar. The bullion cubes, we'll put them to that cupboard there. I'm going to keep the couple of canned goods on me while I'm out and about. I can, well, you know what? No, I, we don't need to do that. We'll put the canned goods in the corner here. I'm going to be in these houses. There's going to be so much food in these houses. I'm literally going to just be able to nibble as I go. So 
there's really no right now with what I'm doing there's no point in me carrying food on me I'm going to be coming across food everywhere the guarding spray can I definitely want to keep in this utility closet with some of this other stuff I'll put that lighter in there too while we've got some duct tape on us can we work on the hand axe anymore really want to get that hand axe okay it would have gone in here now I keep losing track of it when it when it moves it to my general inventory there there you are okay it is slowly improving let's get back in our backpack we're gonna keep it on me uh the radio the stuff that i have disassembled let's i'm gonna drop that stuff on the floor in the utility closet for now till we come up with a better place for it yeah that's going to help our inventory quite a bit. Oh, I've got pepper. Let's get the pepper where the pepper goes. Well, that's uh, cooking items. We'll put the pepper under the... Oh, the muffin tray. Yeah, the muffin tray goes in there. Oh, we've already got a muffin tray. Okay. Well, we got, we'll get the marinara and the pepper. The pepper in there as well. Oh, and the red wine. Let's not... Oh, let's put the red wine in the refrigerator. We want that chilled. And we'll put the white wine in the refrigerator. I like my wine... I like my wine chilled. Okay, we'll put the taco shells in one of the cupboards. And we'll put the rolling pin... In a cupboard. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Come on, uh, Alistair. We've got more. Let's get back over to this house. We'll do some. This rain ought to kind of shield us as well. We'll do a little more looting in this house over here. I think I've already cleaned out the kitchen. Yeah, we've cleaned out the kitchen. We haven't been upstairs yet. We've looked all through here. We haven't looked at the books yet, though. I've already read Tailoring Vol... Ooh, Metalworking Volume 1. Let's bring that back with us. We want to read that. Metalworking is important. I don't think I need Carpentry Volume 1, but I probably do need... At least Carpentry Volume 2, maybe? Can I read that? It's probably going to tell me that I've already read it. No, he can read it. Okay, we'll, we'll hold on to that. We will just... We're just going to grab all these. We're going to grab them all and bring them back with us. And put them in our library and read them. Uh, we'll go ahead and get these uh, entertainment things as well. They're, they don't weigh that much, so I don't really care about carrying them. I'm not too concerned about carrying them. What's in here? Ooh, fishing stuff. Yes. Absolutely. We'll be carrying that with us when we set up our fishing camp. I'm not going to worry about the scrap electronics right now. We're, I'm going to have so much scrap electronics, it's not even going to be funny. Okay, um, Alistair, let's go check the upstairs. I, maybe we can get some ammo from up here. I'm going to go ahead and get these entertainment magazines. They don't weigh that much. It doesn't hurt to carry them. Mechanics Volume 2, Electrician Volume 3. Yes, we'll take that. 
Trapping Volume 3, we'll take that. We've got headphones. Yes, we'll dismantle the headphones. And let's... Uh, oh, it's got containers. It's got stuff in it. Let's drop this out on the floor. We'll disassemble that. Did you give me any... You gave me a plank. Very good. I'll take the plank. I did not get a nail, though. We'll disassemble this table. How to get... Yeah, we got a nail from that. An extra saw. You know what? I'll grab it because it's in front of me. And I'll go ahead and disassemble this door and see if I can get a nail or a plank out of it. Yeah, I did get a plank. That should give me enough to at least board up another window. Yeah, we're very heavily loaded. I think I can probably take down one more door. I may do disassemble that bed as well. Scrap wood. Let's disassemble the bed. Should get some good stuff out of that. Okay, what did I get? Give me a plank and a nail. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go barricade a couple of more windows while we're yeah we're extremely loaded anyway. So I can't really carry anything else. So let's go barricade a window on our safe house. Should really be sneaking right now. But I feel a little safe. I, oh, yep, yeah, look at you. How have you found us? You're trying to... This is why I want to barricade these windows. Because we are pretty deep in town. We're going to, we're going to be getting zombies wandering wandering in on us we are going to be getting zombies yeah this is an in-town safe house so you know they're going to be here yeah let's barricade this one too and we need to come back with more planks and barricade more of them I've got some I've got another plank on me let's just Work our way around the house and barricade everything we can. We're still heavily loaded here. These planks are heavy. Do I not have any nails? Okay, I am out of nails then. Okay, here we go. That's fine. We'll we'll get some more nails here in a sec. Meanwhile, let's drop off some stuff. We've got books to drop off. I want to I want to put this fishing tackle here in our utility closet. That's going to be very important here soon. Anything else that needs to go? Yeah, we'll put the extra saw in there. Let's put these books where they go. We're carrying a lot of heavy books, so let's put them somewhere. Let's put those in the entertainment room. We need to get... Let's see. Let's put the books here on the far left. That'll be where they go. We're probably doubling some up, but that's fine. Put the training books over here. On a good rainy day like today, when he is kind of tired and he is drowsy. It's getting late too, though, so we probably do need to read a book. Any more training books on him? No. Um, so, I just want training books over here. We'll put mag 
magazines and stuff like that in the middle bookshelf. So let's pull those magazines over and just general books. And we'll put media, multimedia in the far right uh, bookshelf. Yeah, there's carpentry volume. Carpentry volume two. Let's put it in the training bookshelf there. Okay, I do need more nails. Let's go back next door, Alistair, and do s continue looting that house. It's a good rainy day. Uh, we sh it should kind of shield us from the zombies. Hopefully. I really should be sneaking. Ain't nobody got no time for that, though. Let's do a little more disassembling here. Let's get some nails and some... Um, and some planks. Speed up. Mm, I need a hot... I need a hot tool for... I've got to figure out what that is. I keep it... It will not let me stay fast forwarded. These curtains. Need a little privacy in here. These are nice couches, though. I hate disassembling them, but there's a million of them in this game. Let's go ahead and take this apart as well. Um, this table can come apart. All right, let's look around on the ground and pick up some planks and nails. Some nails. Nails. Two planks. Three nails and two planks. That's probably going to be all I'm going to be able to carry. Oh, there's one more plank. Can we pick it up? Yes. Anything else? Yeah, there's nails. Let's get those nails. Don't want to miss them. Make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Okay, let's go back. Wrong door. Let's keep barricading. Let's continue to barricade. I love, I love walking through these hedges like that. That is so cool. Barricade, please. Are we missing any other windows? Let's make another quick go around. All right, we'll we'll add another barricade plank to this one. Just methodically work our way around the house, improving as we go. Awesome. Do I have enough left for one more? No, I don't. Am I carrying any planks on me? I don't want to carry planks if I don't have to. No, I think we're good. We're good. Let's... It's only... Well, it's... It's getting a little late. Let's go in the house, Alistair. 
and let's um, come on up here and start on a book let's go in the entertainment room what do we want to read let's look at our skills what do we need the most here I uh, really I'm, I'm going up carpet can I just go ahead and read a carpentry book I probably need to read Carpentry 3, I would think, maybe. Or is it just going to let me read this one? I think it's going to let me read it. He's a little hungry. May have to go downstairs and get something to eat here in a minute. I need to go downstairs anyway because our show, our Life and Living shows are about to come on. Go ahead and do that before I forget. He keeps closing this door and I can't get out of it. Woo! Okay. Let's get some food. What have we got? Do I have anything fresh in the fridge? Just the wine right now. I'll, I'll eat these taco shells. And I'll open up a can of tuna. Yeah, we're going to we're going to be filling this house with canned foods before it's open, before it's done. I'll just grab that and keep it on me while I'm reading. I'll nibble on that later. Okay, Alistair, let's get here in front of the TV. And get back to reading our book here. Put it on fast forward. Why did it slow down? I can't keep it on fast forward for some reason. Okay. Life and living should be about to come on with something. I'm curious to see what it is. Speaking of which, do I do not have a current save yet? Boredom's going down anyway. I don't know if it's an actual show that's teaching us anything, but whatever. I need to set my alarm. I want to set my alarm for like 5.50 so we can watch the 6 o'clock show. Need to take advantage of life and living while we have electricity. We really do. All right, I'm going to fast forward through this. I'm going to let him get about halfway through the book, and then we're going to go to bed. Get about halfway through, and then we'll call it. We'll call it at that. Okay, he's about halfway done. Let's go on upstairs. Ooh, thunder's got a good sound to it. Okay, I'm going to set my alarm. Okay, I want the alarm for... 50. Okay, and this gives us, this is going to give us a good save point here. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Let's get downstairs. We got Life and Living that's going to be coming on. We want to get down there in time for that. Ooh, lagging. Lagging. Lag. That's always a bad sign. That usually means this game's about to crash when it starts lagging like that.
Let's get back to reading. It's raining outside. It's a good day to sit around and read anyway. Oh, it's a cooking show. We're getting some cooking improvements. We just got some good cooking improvement. Let's look at our skill levels now. Yeah, cooking has gone up. Awesome. We might be able to make a stew now. We ought to be able to make a stew. I'm going to let him finish the book before I let him eat. I've already got it on fast forward. Let's just finish the book. He's only peckish. He's been eating well, so I, we're probably are losing weight. Let's check into that. We're 81 kilograms. That's wonderful. He's he's maintaining his weight. If I can keep him between 70, around 75 to 80, maybe a little over 80, he, that'll be perfectly fine. That will be perfectly fine. We've got a good spot here. We can start accumulating some stuff. So, so we can eventually move out to uh, to a fish camp. Okay, he's done with that book. Let's get that off of us. Don't need the empty tin can. He does need to eat though. So let's open up the can of beans that we're carrying. Go ahead and put that crossword magazine in there, and we'll put that magazine in there as well. And let's eat these beans. Okay. All right. No, there's a plank right there. Do it. Let's pick that plank up and go barricade a window till we get them all barricaded up. Come on, Alistair. Let's go do a little more work, man. We're not done yet. Let's do a little more work. Oh, out then. Do I not have enough nails? I'll bet you I don't have enough nails. I've got two planks but one nail. We need to go do some disassembling, Alistair. Let's go. More work to do, more work to do to get this safe house set up. Uh, I'll just disassemble this door here. Fast forward through that. Oh, it's got items in it. Okay. Put those out on the floor. Did we not get any nails out of that? Ooh, there's, who's got that shotgun? Who is ca He's carrying a shotgun and a double holster. Oh my God. I've been walking all around this dude's corpse and he is a treasure trove. An absolute treasure trove. Okay, we're going to wear those deputy pants. We're going to grab the nightstick and we're definitely grabbing the shotgun. Oh my Lord, have mercy. How did I not see that? Let's just put that on our general inventory. <laughs> I'm so blind. <laughs> Good Lord have mercy. <laughs> what else have you got on you, you little turkey? He's got a deputy jacket. Do I wanna We'll put that in our we'll put that in our wardrobe. Who else have I been ignoring around here that might be uh, carrying some interesting stuff. Oh, golly, what a mess. That could have been bad. Okay, let's continue trying to get some nails and some planks here. We just upped our carpentry skill, I'm willing to bet. Yeah, we've got some planks and nails there. I'm not getting many nails. I need more nails. Another 
plank. There's the nail. Okay. Are, is, are those not nails right there? I guess not. Okay. Let's assemble that counter. Come on, give me some nails. Yeah, there's two nails there. And another plank. I'll pick it up. That's... Yeah, we're heavy loaded. We gotta go... We gotta go do something with this material. It's too heavy. Let's continue barricading. A good rainy day. It's a good day to do this kind of work. It's gotta be done. Hello. I thought I had barricaded you. Did somebody... Has somebody climbed in the window here, already gotten through it? I must be out of nails again. Yeah, I've only got one nail. Uh, I'm going to drop the planks that I'm carrying. They are very heavy. We'll drop them here. We'll know we need to use them here. I just I need nails more than anything right now. Planks are just tedious to work with. Uh, do I have any in my general? Yeah, I've got one more that I'm carrying. I'm going to drop around here. Let's get inside and do something with the shotgun and the... Go ahead and get that out of our inventory. Do I have a save point? Maybe. Okay, let's go upstairs, and I've got some scrap electronics I need to drop off. Let's just drop that right there. The police deputy jacket and the drop you two. Let's get those in our wardrobe upstairs, and we'll get the shotgun tape stowed away as well. Okay. Start trying to keep up with my firearms Right now in the bedside table, we're going to gonna come up with a better solution for these guys. Probably going to have some duffel bags that I'm going to try to keep different uh, types in. Uh, the police deputy jacket we'll put in here for now. And the suit pants we'll store in there. I don't need to be carrying them around either. Do I have any more... Anything else on me? I'm wearing the deputy pants. Okay, that's good. Everything else is good. The saw should be in the... the hand torch should be back there as well. I guess the screwdriver can be back there. I've got plenty of duct tape. Let's see what we can do with the hand axe. Every time. I lose track of it every time. It goes somewhere and I absolutely lose track of it every time. It's getting better. Can I put that in my belt? I'm going to put it in my belt there where the where the wrench was. The wrench will go back into the backpack. That way I can keep up with where the hand axe is a little bit better. It's getting in better condition. I think I'm at the point I may use it a little bit more. I need to use it. Got a lot of bandages on me. Actually, I may can hit it one more time with some repair. I can. Oh yeah, condition is definitely improving. I got plenty of duct tape for one more time. That didn't do any good. That's probably because 
Yeah, we actually do not have two full things of duct tape. We've got a partial roll and we've got another small partial roll. So that's how that works. Um, do I have a save point? No, not really. Uh, okay, let's go do some more disassembling, get some nails, try and get the try and get these windows. A couple of more planks on these windows. And I'll feel a lot better. It's only 1250 in the afternoon, so I think we're doing pretty good. Let's disassemble this door. Let's disassemble this table over here as well. Scrap wood. I ought to get something good out of this table. Yep, plank and nails. Take them. take this thing apart over here. It's really pretty. I hate taking it apart, but I need some stuff out of it. We ought to get some good material. Yeah, we got a plank. We got five nails. Wonderful. Uh... I think I could disassemble one more thing before I'm too heavy. Upstairs we go. Come on. Did I get a plank? I got a plank out of it. Okay. Heavy load. We can disassemble something else. I think we have just about cleaned this house out. Very heavy load. One more thing. One more thing, and we'll, we'll we should be able to carry. How about this door here? No. Ooh, what's in these bookshelves? Farming Volume One. Yeah, let's grab that. And. We'll grab that magazine too. Let's disassemble this chair here. Yeah, got some nails out of that. Okay, let's go. Let's go do something with this material. It's getting a little heavy. Getting a little heavy for us to carry. We have this house has been torn apart. This house has been torn apart. Let's add another one there. Add another one there. Can we add one here? No, not yet. Let's... I think we're out of nails again. Yeah, we only have one nail. I'm not carrying any more planks on me, am I? Okay, I would love to get a couple of more on this window. At least two more. This is our most vulnerable window right now. 
I do need more nails though. Let's just let's go get them and we'll come back to do that window in particular and then we'll move on to looting. We'll move on to the next house and try and get some more maybe some uh some groceries, some canned goods out of that house. We'll we'll, we'll take this apart. Let's see if we can get a nail, a couple of nails out of it. We got a plank. I don't see any nails though. I'll grab the planks because I'm standing over them. Do I have food on me? Um, no, I don't. That's fine. Still no nails. We need nails. Everything's out of there. Let's disassemble this desk here. I'm not a smoker or I would grab those cigarettes. I have never played a smoking character for some reason. Most people generally do. I think it's just pretty handy. Let's grab that plank while we're here. Alright, I'm just going to tear these apart as well. get anything good we still no nails we did we are getting screws though I need nails heavy load still no nails I'm gonna keep going till I get some nails oh there's duct tape take that what does the shell suit jacket do for you scratch defense wind resistance I'll take that extra hand torch there's another hand torch and a hammer I think I'm fine on hammers though we did not get any nails though Fine, we're going to take, take this bed apart. The bed will give me nails. Yeah, five nails. I'll take them. Do I have room to carry the planks? It's probably going to be absolutely all I can carry. Yeah, we got to go. We are extremely overloaded. So let's go, Alistair. Let's go finish boarding up that one vulnerable window on the back side of the house. And um, then we'll do something else. We'll probably go get some loot, some canned goods, and some kitchen items. We still need to build up this kitchen in this house. So we need a lot more stuff for that. So we'll, we'll hit the next house. Need to hang a, uh, another ropes, rope, string, uh, uh, rope ladder out of this upper window up there. Okay, yeah, we, we've lost our rope. They Looks like they came along and ate it. Somebody came along and ate it up. Use up the rest of these planks and nails as best we can. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's going to be it. Okay. 
Okay, it is 610. Ooh, our show, our show's on. Our show's on. Our show's on. Trapping. It's a trapping show. Perfect. Uh, do I have a book to read? Ooh, I'm carrying two planks. I need to drop. I'm just gonna drop them right here. Oh, didn't drop you. Let's drop you. Okay, we're peckish. We're tired. I've kind of worn myself out carrying all those planks around. Those heavy planks. Um, let's do a little inventory cleanup here. Oh, I did have a farming book on me. I could have read while I was listening to that. We've got an extra hand torch here. Plenty of duct tape, so let's... Work on the hand axe a little bit more. We're about to get that completely repaired. We're about to get it back to 100% condition. Okay. And I had something else on me that I wanted to deal with. The nightstick. Ah, uh, well, let's put the nightstick in here. It's 6.30 in the evening. It's raining. Let's get something to eat. Can we do any cooking yet? I, like, I can open a can of soup. That's about all I can do <laughs> right now. We're going to be able to do some cool stuff here before long, though. Yeah, we'll go ahead and open that soup and eat it. We've got to go get some good kitchen kitchen uh, items here. I'm going to go ahead and start reading and call it a night. We've got some marinara. What do we have in here? We've got chips. I'll go ahead and eat that bag of chips as well. And I'll put this granola bar on my inventory and I'll put the crackers on my inventory and tomorrow morning we're going to go we're gonna go collecting food but in the meantime I want to read this book in front of the TV while it's raining where'd the book go we got this farming book let's read this and we'll put it on fast forward. And here in a few hours, the Life and Living should be coming on. We'll catch the next Life and Living show. Want to take advantage of that while we've got the electricity. Check my email while he's reading that book there. Fixing to have to go get my son from school. Fortunately, I'm now able to pause my recording, though, so. Okay, now, how long have we been recording? Does it tell me? Don't know what my time is. In this controller, I can't tell how long I've been going here. It's about time for life and living. Oh, it's but three hours. Okay, we, we're in a little over three hours. Okay, the show's about to come on. He is peckish. I'm going to let him go ahead and eat these crackers. All right, let's eat the granola bar. Life and Living should be coming on any second now.
guess I'm gonna have some. Here we go. Wonder, I wonder what the show is. It's hard to tell. Let me pull the skills up. Sometimes you can tell what he's watching when you see the skill. If any skill level goes up. We have got so many books we need to be reading. And I've got so many weapons that I need to be using. Right now, it's only affecting our boredom. That's fine. We need to work on that boredom. We are having issues with it. So, it's going to help us with that. Good deal. We're about to get a save point. After he's able to go to bed. Go ahead and speed this up. Okay, let's go to bed. We'll get a save point from that and be able to save our progress. We'll set our alarm too because I want to get up and catch the show first thing in the morning. Okay, we did get a good save point there. Let me copy that and save it. Yeah, time to get downstairs, Alistair. Our show's coming back on. Come on. And let me sit down and get to reading. Turn the alarm off. need to get this book finished. What are we watching now? Cakes? Must be a cooking show. I love the cooking shows. Yeah, it's cooking show. Okay, we'll go ahead and fast forward here. He's about to level up another level of cooking. Almost finished with this book. Then we'll eat and then we will go loot some houses. We need to get kitchen materials. We need to get all kinds of dried cooking goods, beans, canned goods, cooking utensils, pots, pans, sauce, sauce pans. We need all that good stuff. Okay, he's finished his book. Let's drop that off. Drop that off. And fill our water bottle. I haven't done that lately. We're a little behind on that. Let's get to the sink over here. Fill our empty bottle. Uh, let's see what we can. Okay, let's let's go grocery shopping, Alistair. Okay, we've looted this house here. Sprinting is looking good. So let's let's hit the house behind it and work our way around this little section here. Pull up the map. I kind of want to want to finish out this little section right here. This whole section. We're gonna be we'll get a lot of stuff from all this. Oh, these are nice houses. These houses are so nice. Me. Oh, there's some there's some nice there's a nice pot of food right there. Ah, it's stale. Dang it. Uh, that pot, I do want the pot though. Let me grab that. I'll pour it out on the ground and we'll um We'll use that pot for cooking. I'll be able to make some stew with that big old pot. Okay, let's just pour it out. It's already stale. Let's grab the bowls, too. We need those. Grab that empty bowl. We'll be able to do some good cooking with these things. 
I hear somebody banging somewhere. I've got my trusty axe out. Let's let's just kind of be methodical here. main thing I want to get into is the kitchen. I hear you. Are you in here? Another hand torch and a battery. I'm going to end up with a lot of batteries before this is over with. Okay. Okay, Alistair. Come on in. Let's see what's in the kitchen. That's what I'm here for. Oh, yeah. All this good cooking stuff. Good stuff to have in the kitchen. Let's get all of it. Let's get everything. We're going to... We are going to have a fully stocked kitchen. It's going to be amazing what we're able to do. What do we got in here? We've got another can opener. What's on the top there? Grab that canned spaghetti. What's in the fridge? We've got some good fresh food to put in our fridge. Let's grab all that. What's in the freezer? Yeah, we got some frozen stuff in the freezer. Let's get it. What's in these cupboards here? We've got pancake mix and gravy mix. Absolutely. What's in here? Orange bar. I'm going to drink that right now. Let's grab the juice box. I can't resist an orange soda. We got a baking pan. Yeah, let's get the baking pan. We'll need that baking pan. There's another bowl I want. Let's grab that bowl of stew. I may go ahead and eat that bowl of stew. Let's see. No, let's pour it out. It's rotten. That gives us four bowls right there. Now that's going to be good. What is that? An empty jar. Okay, I'll grab an empty jar. Uh, how are we looking? We're heavily loaded. Let's look at a few more things. We Let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh, I missed the stairs somehow. Oh, they've got a living area up here. What a nice house. What a nice house. Trapping Volume 3. I don't think I have it. Let's grab it. Just grab that book as well. Sleeping tablets. Yes. And let's disassemble that red lamp. Sometimes it's hard to click on the other wardrobe. I hear somebody. I hear somebody growling. Are you in here? Do we have a special friend? Are you in here? Is that a two-door bathroom? It sure is. Adhesive bandages. As much as I get hurt, I can never say no to a, to a bandage. Now, wait a minute. No, that's not part of the closet. What are you? Oh, you're a... Uh, another battery. I don't need batteries right now. I'm going to end up with so many batteries by the time I uh, disassemble some things. I really don't need to be looting them. Are you in here? Yes. Let's get some axe skills going on here. This must be a bathroom or a closet right here. Sewing kit? Yes. We'll need that for working on our clothes. Is there anything in the toolbox? Nothing. Okay. 
Okay, do we got some stuff we can be dis we can disassemble over here if we need to in this house? Crowbar, absolutely attached to my back. And we'll get rid of the, the pipe. Okay. Long dress. Strapless draw and another belt. I don't need another belt. I do need to disassemble this lamp, though. This is the kind of slog you have to go through to try to up your electrician skills, and I really need that to be improved with this character. Painkillers, adhesive bandages, we'll grab those. I need a fanny pack. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this. I need to go pick up my son from school. I will pause it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got him. So, I'm trying. What am I even? I don't even remember what I was even in the middle of doing here. Oh, that's right. We were looting the next house over for some, for some kitchen products. Okay, I don't want to fill any of those guys. I think we have pretty much looked through this entire house. We've been downstairs. This is upstairs. Have I been in this room right here? I can't tell. He keeps closing doors behind me, so I don't know what I've been in and what I haven't been in. Which reminds me, as I was driving, I was thinking that I, I really think I need to nerf myself with him. Having him just kind of follow me around is really making me severely OP. And, and I think I may... What can I tell him to do? Do I want to dismiss him or just return to base? I'll tell you what, I'm going to let him follow me back to the base and I'm going to try and figure out how the base setup works. And I would just, you know... I'm happy with just letting him hang out at the base. Let's get some of this stuff back. Um, yeah, let's get this. Let's get these. Have I been in the? Yeah, I've been in there. Let's get these groceries back to the uh, to the base house. And get the stuff in the kitchen. And then, yeah, I'm loaded down pretty good here. Am I going to be able to get over this fence? Barely. <laughs> I barely made it over the fence. Okay, let's get this stuff into the kitchen. And then I'm going to experiment with the base setup so I can just let him hang out at the base and he can guard the base. I feel I feel like it's, it's OPing me too much just kind of having him following me around. Um, okay, let's get these three empty bowls into a cupboard. Let's get the cooking pot into a cupboard. Let's put all these canned goods into a, the cupboards. It's going to take a little minute to unload all this stuff. <clears throat> well, we should be able to start doing some good recipes and cooking here. In a little bit. Yeah, he's just kind of standing there just guarding me. Which I love, but um, I don't know. I don't... Oh, the grapes need to go in the refrigerator. I need to make sure that I get the right stuff in the right places. You go in the dry goods. I want to make sure I get the dry goods in all the places they need to go. And get the stuff in the fridge that needs to go in the fridge. The gravy mix can go in there. Ice cream definitely goes in the freezer. Uh, the marinara can go in the cupboard. The mix of vegetables, let's put them in the freezer. Pancake mix in a cupboard. 
uh, shrimp. Let's get that in the freezer for now. The steak, I'm going to put that in the fridge. We'll cook that shortly. Orange soda, you go in the fridge, please. Juice box, you get in the fridge. Baking pan, let's put you in a cupboard. Uh, the banana, I'm just going to go ahead and eat that right now. He is moderately exerted. We were carrying a pretty good little bit of stuff there. Do I have anything in my gen... Yeah, we've got the canned bologna. Let's put that in the cupboard. The empty jar, let's get that in the cupboard. That will be useful later. These water bottles, I'm just going to put them in the fridge. Oh, wait a minute. I need one of those. I need one at least. Just grab one. Don't need to be carrying that many water bottles around. Okay, I think that's it for the food. I better double check. I think a lot of this stuff that's supposed to go in the fridge, I might have inadvertently dumped into a... Make sure I didn't put anything in a cupboard that needs to go in the fridge. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're going to cook something here in a minute. Let's see what kind of recipes we're, uh, we have now. So I can... Let me get the, the empty cooking pot. Let's fill that bad boy up with some water. Let's see if we can cook up something good here. I probably need to cook some meat before I do anything, but... I can prepare a stew. I need to cook that, uh, I need to cook that steak though. Let me go ahead and grab that steak and we'll put that on the, put that on the stove over here real quick. We'll get that going. We'll turn on the stove here. Let's get this cooked. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be real good. I'm looking forward to this. We'll make a steak stew, I guess. Okay, let's get back over here in the middle. And now, I think I have to refresh that. Now we're going to prepare a stew. I want to add fresh cooked steak. I want to add some random stock. A random condiment. A random vegetable. Let's put a little more beef in there. I'm not going to do the seafood because that's uncooked, but we'll do another random vegetable and a random condiment, and I think that'll be enough for now. That's going to be good, and we'll bring that over here to the stove. Get that on the stove. Get that going. Oh, that's going to be good. Let me go a little bit faster here. Awesome. Ooh, let's eat some of that. I want to eat some of that right now. Then we'll put it in the fridge. Mmm, yummy. Full to busting. Yeah, let's get that back in the fridge. Okay. Uh, refrigerator. We'll put the steak in the refrigerator. And we've got... We've got this trapping book we need to finish reading. 
Oh, I've got some stuff here I need to get out of my inventory. Let's sort this stuff out. Got a lot of scrap type stuff I don't need to be carrying on me. I'm just going to drop it in the floor here for now. Until we find a better place for it. Get the, let's see, we've got... I think we picked up a couple of books we can do something with. Uh, just some general entertainment books I'll just put over in this bookshelf over here. Like some of these magazines and uh, I think we just picked up a regular reading book. We'll put that over here as well. The sewing kit. The sewing kit I'm going to keep in the closet until I get a dedicated place for sewing stuff. Okay, uh, let's wait. Let's do some reading until the life and live next life and living show comes on. Uh, okay, hold on. No, what was I? Yeah, I need to get a book to read. I can't read this book that I've got in my hand. It needs to go. Hello. Hey, let me get up these stairs. Let's go into the media room here. Yeah, this book needs to go here. Okay, let's drop that off. And let's figure out what we do want to read next here. Let's look at our skills real quick. Okay, um... I could certainly stand to read a carpentry book if I can figure out which one I need. I think I need level four. But I don't think I've got that to read. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do I have? I've got... I've got Forging... Yeah, let's read Forging 1. Let's read Forging. Forging will be a good thing to to level up. Have you closed the door on me again? And I need to take care of him as well. While, I, while I've got that on my brain, let me figure out... Let me pause this real quick and see if I can figure out how I'm supposed to set up the... Um, the base for the... Uh, for the survivors. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, um, okay, I'm back. I think I think I sort of figured it out. I'm not entirely certain I did it right. I had to go into the base selecting option, so I just kind of drug an area around here and then right clicked it, went into select area again and did set, and then I told Alistair to just return to base. Uh, then he walked outside and, and started going next door. So I'm not really sure if he's tied to my... There he is. I, I set... Or at least I thought I set the base over here. But he must still be tied to that base next door. I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to let him go ahead and do what he wants to do. Uh, that's fine with me. I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I just need to nerf myself with him. I don't need him... It's nice having him guarding me, especially when I'm reading and I'm doing stuff, but I I just I feel like I need to He's I just see him saying he'll come back to base. I'm I'm curious to see if he comes in here. He is coming in here. Okay, I think it did work. I think we did put him in the correct location. So I think that did work. Okay, I'm going to read my book and wait for life and living to come back on here I think Alistair we'll just let him guard the base that'll be fine he can just kind of he's been cleaning up some corpses he just kind of does his thing I would rather him do that than just have him following me around maybe if I go on a special mission or something I'll, I'll have him follow me if there's if I know that I am going to be Dealing with some pretty good sized hordes. I'll bring him with me. Uh, until my character gets big, better and stronger. Until then I am going to try and nerf myself as much as I can. Yeah this is working great. He's, he's doing his own thing around the base which is perfect. And that's a little more immersive to me. Than him just hovering over me. Okay, that's, I, I've got to figure out what the hotkey is for the uh, fast forward. 
That's probably going to be my next pause. <laughs> taking him a while to get through this book but that's okay we've got some moodles we're trying to get under control we're trying to let him rest up I need to wash his clothes too he had gotten pretty well exerted overexerted okay yeah okay life and living just came on let's see what we're what we're getting here survivalist is moving we're not moving it nearly quick enough we've done nothing with firearms carpentry is just the easiest thing to level up we're, we're going to level that up we're going to max that out probably by the time i get through that that high school here that should be well maxed out i probably won't even need to read a book oh forging just went up good 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 it was a forging show that we were watching apparently so that worked out perfect and i'm reading a foraging book so this is working out great okay let's go back into fast forward we are getting a little peckish we'll go eat some of our stew here shortly before we go to bed I'm going to go ahead and go let him go um, put the axe away. Casey, I'm going to let him go on in here and let's eat a little bit more of the stew. Or maybe something out of something fresh out of the fridge. Let's let's see. Yeah, let's eat a let's eat a fresh grape. Let's eat that grape. Um, let's eat a little bit more of the stew. We'll eat another quarter of the stew of the steak stew put that back yeah we're in good shape now we're full to bursting dude we are tired but we're just gonna finish gonna finish reading the book and then we'll we'll go to bed and that will give us a good save point as well I'm going to probably try to read till midnight so we can catch the midnight show. We'll go ahead and fast forward here. I know Alistair's he's moving around the base. He's doing work. So he's not hovering over me, but he is reasonably nearby. So I don't hear anybody banging either. So I think we're good. We'll probably finish this book before Life and Living comes on. He's very tired. I may need to watch a DVD or something. He is getting tired and uh, bored and, and uh, sad. We're going to finish this book and then we'll read a magazine. Yeah, we're making good time on the book now. Perfect. Let's put that over here out of the way in the already read section. And we will read the... Let's just do a crossword magazine. Oh, that's Alistair. God, he makes so much noise coming in and out of that garage. It scared me half to death. We're still a little sad. Um... Let's see if the newspaper will help us with that. Not really. Let me let me just read a regular just read a regular book. That usually helps with sadness. Yeah, that took care of that moodle. Alright, so let's uh we've got a few minutes before the next life and living comes on. Let's go grab a Hello, I completely missed them stairs again. We'll get a study book out of the media center. I need to bring the uh, I need to bring the TV up here. The TV needs to be up here. It doesn't need to be downstairs. We'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Let's see 
we can read. I've already read first aid. What about do I have an electrical book? I've got the metalworking book. Let's let's definitely read that. Let's grab it. That'll be good. Let's we need to get the TV up to the media room though. Where it'll be we'll be a little safer reading up there. We'll start on the metalwork book. We're about to have life and living on. He makes so much noise. Okay, life and living is on. What are we what have we got coming here? I need to read a fishing book too. Fishing volume one is what I need. Looks like it might just be an entertainment show. I don't know if it's going to be a training show or not. Yeah, okay. We'll go on and go to bed then. I was hoping I'd get something good on life and living there. Sometimes the midnight show is just an entertainment show. Woo, got a little bit of lag there. And this is going to give us a save point. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right, let's head downstairs. Gonna watch the show and then we're gonna bring the television upstairs where it'll be a little bit safer. Looks like it might be another cooking show. Okay, we're going to get about halfway through this book and we're going to go do some more loot. Oh, it is a cooking show. Cooking is just moving right along here. We're still getting cooking experience from the television, from the uh, show. Cooking is steadily going up. And we haven't even read a book for it yet. See y'all tomorrow. Okay, let's move this, let's move this TV if we can. Um, we need to get it into a safer location. Yeah, pick up the TV. I keep missing these stairs. Yeah, the TV needs to be up here in this room. Can we put it on this table? Gotta make room for it, I guess. Okay. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. It is in the way of our... I think we can still get out that window, though. I believe we can. Okay, uh, let's get something to eat, and then I'm going to read half the book, and then we'll do some more. We'll do some more looting.
Let's finish our stew. Or let's eat some more of our stew. Yeah, we'll eat another quarter of that stew. We need to cook that frit, that uh, shrimp too. We'll do a stir fry with that shrimp. Awesome. Oh yeah, well, good. We're doing great. Um, already in pretty good shape with this. Okay, let's read here. And we'll put this on fast forward. It's only 6.50 in the morning. We'll get halfway... Ah, get halfway through the book. And then we'll... I don't know why it keeps coming off of fast forward. It's annoying me. nine o'clock in the morning almost halfway done with this book and then we're going to go do some stuff okay we'll drop it right here and we'll pick back up reading it later I'll put these scrap electronics in here don't need to be carrying them can I do any repair on the hand axe no I can't Okay, we're in good shape. Everything's looking good. Let's go get some more stuff out of these houses around here. I think we've looted, pretty well looted this house. I think he's done. Well, let's come next door. Let's get our axe out. Yeah, I don't have him following me around now, so I don't feel like I'm OP, too OP to to be doing to be doing this. Close those curtains, please. Uh, can you disassemble that lamp there? Yes, you can. Okay. Get our stuff back out here. I will turn this television on in case I can catch life and living while I'm uh, looting. What do we got here in the bookshelf? We got a, DH, a VHS. Let's grab those. I don't worry too much about grabbing them because they don't weigh that much. I am going to go ahead and get the value disc too so we can play some CDs. It's just a book there. I'll grab it while I'm looking at it. Why not? Let's look in the kitchen real quick kitchen's important right now. Ah, we've got some fresh mutton and some pickles. Let's get that back to the house. We got fruit jam. Yes. Another value tech radio. We'll dismantle that. I will take the adhesive tape. Three pop. Yeah, take them. We got another cooking pot here. Pasta that is fresh uncooked. Yeah, let's grab that. Let's cook that. I hear somebody banging somewhere. Uh, I'm, I know I'm taking a chance. Mm, this is where... I think they're I think they're well upstairs. I think we're, we'll be fine here. Let's 
get you off of there and uh, let's put the no it is rotten so I'm gonna have to pour it out okay I do want that uh, let's drop off some of this stuff here like the like these light bulbs let's, dang it let's drop you We'll drop that electric wire. We'll drop that aluminum. We'll dismantle the headphones. Drop that. Okay. I'll grab that baking soda. That will help us with cooking. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got some good stuff here. Beef jerky, I'll eat that right now. Get that baking tray. We'll use that for cooking. Oh, uh, we got another empty bowl. Whoa, do I want a tumbler? Let's go. Uh, why not? Let's get in let's get the mug too. We'll get a red mug and a white mug. That'll be for some coffee. And I guess I need to figure out where that banging's coming from before somebody sneaks up on me and kills me. Are you in here? Antidepressants. Take those and another bandage. With the way I play, you can never have too many bandages. Kentucky baseball shirt. Now, what is going on in here? This is the garage. There ought to be some good stuff in the... Yeah, let's get the garden saw. That's going to be important when we're... When we are at our fish camp. Toy cars, gravel bags more toys some empty pop cans okay let's look upstairs Uh, we've got a closet right over here. Are you hiding in that closet? More rope and a battery. I don't need that stuff right now. He's got to be upstairs. Oh, yeah. There, that right there. Say hello to the to my axe. Vitamins. We'll take those. I'm going to grab a sheet because I want to put a sheet over some of my doors here. Uh, at my uh, hideout house. Pipe wrench. Yes. Very important. Antibiotics are important too. Let's definitely get some antibiotics. Okay, we'll just, let's methodically go through this upper story here. We may find some ammunition. That would be wonderful if we could. Sleeping tablets. We'll disassemble the striped lamp. Sometimes in these posh houses, you can find good weapons, good entertainment stuff here. Doesn't weigh much, so I'm not worried about, hello, not worried about grabbing it.
These are big houses. Another crowbar, yes. I learned my lesson. Never pass up a crowbar. Ooh, keytar. Huh. The old keytar. The keyboard player don't want to be in the back of the band. He wants to be standing up there with the guitar players. <laughs> As a piano player, I can relate to that. that I resemble that remark. Electrician Volume 2. I don't know if we have it, but let's grab it because we're going to need it. First Aid Volume 2, a magazine. Trapping Volume 2. Yes, we'll get those in our library. And what is in this guy? Ooh, I knew it. I knew we would find something. We've got a 911 mist pistol and a magazine. We'll get that back to our to our base. We need to get on back. We're we're overloaded here. Oh, hadn't been in this room yet. Go ahead and get the go ahead and get the uh, entertainment stuff. I don't know if I've got that or not. Well, I'm just going to grab it. These don't weigh anything. Go ahead and grab. My dragging is not wanting to drag for some reason. Uh, one more pantry thing to look at and we'll disassemble that gray lamp. Awesome. Okay, I think we can head back now. Let's get this stuff back to the safe house. Oh, oh, it's time for, uh, it's time for our show. Okay. Looks like that's over with. He is loaded down. We are loaded for bear here. Let's see if we can get over the, uh, over the chain, over the fence. There's two fence. Yeah, let's see if we can get over this fence. We may have to walk around. Oh, he made it. Uh, he barely got over that fence. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling pretty good so far with the safe house. The horde, the the horde base hasn't really gotten back yet. But I know it's not going to be long. They're going to they're going to be filing back in soon. Let's get this sec this other empty cooking pot off of us. Uh, let's look and see. Yeah, we got plenty of canned foods that need to go as well. Let's get them in the corner pantry. We've got a empty bowl that we can cook with here. Got some mugs. We'll put them in the pantry there. We've got fruit jam. We want to keep up with. And we've got this fresh mutton chop uncooked. Let's let's put that on the stove right now. Go ahead and cook that bad boy. I can't resist a mutton chop. Get that cooked. Uh, okay, let's get back over here and let's put these pickles in the refrigerator. Let's put the pop in the refrigerator. We've got a mug that needs to go in a pantry and We've got a couple of tumblers that need to go in the pantry. Anything in general inventory? Yeah, we've got that mutton. If I'm going to go ahead and eat some of that mutton right now. Then we'll put that in the refrigerator as well. I don't want any of this stuff going stale though, so... Got to be careful here. 
Okay, uh, now we we need to drop off some tools in the tool closet. Till we can get a dedicated place for them. The pipe wrench can definitely go in there. Um... Oh, I've got a baking tray I gotta do something with. I forgot about. Let's put that guy right there. Yeah, you'll go in there. I've got a garden saw that I need to get off of me. Let's put him in here with the heavy duty tools. We'll be using that to saw down some trees later on. Uh, and we've got some entertainment books we can drop off down here at the miscellaneous place. We'll just drop you off. Uh, Want to get these, get the uh, multimedia upstairs to the media room. And we do have some books to bring up as well. Got some magazines we can drop off down here. Okay, upstairs we go. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We probably have time to do some reading and some resting. I need to get to the bathroom and wash up. Still heavy. That's because I'm carrying all these books on me. Yeah, let's get these books in here. So we've got... Yeah, we got a good supply of books on us here. Let's get these three books in here uh, what else mm, yeah the trapping volume 2 okay uh, we'll put the crossword magazines there and the CDs here Didn't I get a VHS? I thought I picked up a VHS tape. I will f yeah, I did. Okay, right there. You go then there too. And we've got a Value Tech Porta Disc, which I will put over here by the TV. No, I'm going to put it on top of this guy. It'll be easier to see it there. Can you stay there? Yeah, that's where we want you. Might have to put a battery in him. Yeah, we've, we're definitely exerted here. We're still carrying a lot on us. Let's swing by the bathroom and drop off some of these uh, lag. Yeah, let's drop off some of these Painkillers, sleeping tablets. Um, antidepressants. I've got another book I'm carrying I need to drop off. I didn't see that. Was it a, yeah, cooking volume three. Don't need to be carrying on me. So antibiotics are important. Let's make sure we don't lose track of them. Let's get them here in the... Yeah, let's make sure we don't lose track of where those are. Also, I am carrying... Oh, no! Ooh, i got to stop doing that. I'm going to hurt myself. Okay, let's see now. No, I picked up a gun. Yeah, the 911 pistol and the 911 magazine. Let's get those in the bedside table. Um, that battery. Let's drop off these batteries in here in the multimedia room, so we will we'll be able to use them with our CD player.
sleeping tablets and vitamins. Let's get them organized as well. Do some repair work on the hand axe. No, I don't have enough on me to repair it yet. Again. I keep forgetting what's in this room. Okay, there's another key tar in there. Oh, we got some long john bottoms. Let me put those in my wardrobe. When it gets winter time, those are going to be worth their weight in gold. Worth their weight in gold. Yes, sirree. Long John bottle. I know I had picked up some Long Johns. Where are the other Long Johns that I had picked up? Don't know. Don't know what I did with them. I'm still heavily weighed. What is weighing me down? Let's get rid of the baking soda. I'm probably carrying too many adhesive bandages. I could stand to all oh, these light bulbs and stuff. Let's, yeah, let's do something with those. I think I've been just dropping that stuff on the floor here. We'll drop you going to put this sheet over the front door don't want nobody peeking on us here and we'll close those curtains don't want nobody peeking at me here Okay, I think we're at a good point to stop here. We're right at four hours. I think that's long enough for a uh, for an upload. Pretty happy with what we got going on here. It's relatively safe. We still got the stairs, but, you know, I got Alistair kind of guarding the place, so I feel pretty good about it. We're going to go ahead and stop here in this episode, and I'll get this uh, all uploaded to YouTube. Appreciate everybody that's uh, watching. Please drop a subscribe and a like. We'll get this get this going. We'll be continuing the adventures of Casey Shade. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.